Previously on TFS at the Table, Eloy distracted a crowd of unruly rat children with the ballad of Billy Punchyface, the rat boy who punched out an ogre twice his size, which is very small for an ogre, but still much larger than a rat boy. Today, on a very special TFS at the Table guide in, I, Ben HBI2K Creighton, will be your guide through the true story behind the legend, behind the ballad, of Billy Punchyface. But I will not be alone, nay, I will be joined by three very special companions playing three very special characters. And then the giant shows up, and then the ghoul shows up. Oh yeah, throw a Kenku at him and then... Wait, fuck, I'm not GMing this one, am I? Ah, fuck it. I'll play Deimos, the warlock, fuck it. Why not? Spout magic and shit and pew pew all over the place. Come on, that 20. It is... Five. Five. What's your proficiency bonus? Fuck. I'll be playing Ricky Ratone, the were kangaroo. For behold, when things get dicey, I can transform into the normal kangaroo. Rawr. I'm... Punchy face! I once punched out an ogre that was twice my size! It wasn't that big for a rat, but it was big for me! Other way around, you know what I mean? Oh, get the Lord, yes, the Lord. Perfect, getting in there. What the hell did I just walk in on? <laughs> You see the meter going up and are down. We, we okay, hey, okay. we're live. There it is. Hi. Hi. Guys, Nick is on a plane or in New Zealand or someplace. I have to feed his cat after this. Yeah. Cats. <laughs> At least he does for now. So for those of you who weren't paying attention the other 18 times we said this, uh, <laughs> rather than try to write a reason why Wake is not available for this adventure, we are doing a special... Billy Punchy Face Gaiden. Woo! We've got. I'm gonna be guest DMing, so that Zito is free to have a spider on his head. <laughs> well, I'm a warlock. It just seems necessary. Yeah, it seems natural. You got to do what feels natural for you. And it, and it really does not feel natural that I can't turn my head faster than I normally should. <laughs> hey. Otherwise, otherwise, Bone Regard, my familiar here, will just be like. All Zito, think fast. <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> you sit here. And we've got, of course, brand new guest star, Kieran, playing Billy Punchyface himself. Hello! I had to wrap my hands after battle. <laughs> yes. And, and before battle. And during battle. And yes. during battle. So Hand yeah. wraps very important to Billy Punchy they Face. They are. They're, they're part of the lore, right? <laughs> and that, that's the lore, his, right? His canonical outfit. <laughs> yeah, okay. This, this is the canonical outfit now. <laughs> you heard it here, like folks. To create now, the lore of Billy Punchy. Now, Face. now, Kieran, yeah. now, just straight up, Kieran is just in the middle of a rat colony, just like, "Hey, what's up? It's me. I'm Billy Punchy Face." <laughs> hey, kids. <laughs> we have exactly one documented event in his life. The rest of it, you get to pen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, nothing, nothing has to say that this is when that happened either. <laughs> oh. oh. Depending on what you do, that might be something that <laughs> happened later in his life. We don't know, but this is the origin story. Uh, so, so Billy Punchyface was created when uh, I, off the top of the dome, needed a, a song for Eloy to distract some rat children. He sang them, the ballad of Billy Punchyface, and and then the story followed. You know, our characters as they went along. But if if the camera just stayed on that scene, the proverbial mental camera. For just a little longer, we would have seen those rat children grow home and gather around the fireplace, and they're they're so excited, they're hyped up. Oh, Billy Punchy Face, yeah, Billy Punchy Face, he could punch out Superman. Billy Punchy Face could punch out Goku Blue. Billy Punchy Face could punch out God. And then you would hear their their granddad, Grandpa Ratman, getting up out of his bed where he was taking a nap, saying, "Children, children, children, Billy Punchy Face." He was a hero. Billy Punchyface, he was a great man. But he was only a man. Gather round, children, and I will tell you. Long before the rat peoples, 
before they rose up out of the underdark and crossed the great ocean to this new land. In the old country, in the old neighborhood, this is the story of Billy Punchyface. <sighs> As our story begins, you gentlemen are gathered together in the law offices of Eric Coker and Sons. The, the family attorney of the punchy face family for generations. Uh, Billy, your, your father, Pappy Punchy Face, he's, he's departed from this world. He, off to punch God. Yep, off to punch God. He, he went peacefully in his sleep, surrounded by loved ones. It was very touching. You've just come from the it funeral. Was. Uh, this is what I wear to the funeral. Oh, it, it's what he would have wanted. I know. I, I punched him works. right into the dirt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just get him down there, six yep. feet under and a little more. Yep. Didn't need a grave digger. You just nope. punched him straight. Punched it all. Coffin and all right down into that dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, the the elderly uh, Aarakocra, or Aarakocra, I couldn't figure out which is the canonical pronunciation. Uh, the, the, the bird person... Uh, with his little pince-nez glasses, just like balanced on on the nose of his beak, uh, he's he's reading out the punchy face will. It's it's you three gentlemen, uh, of course, his beloved son and his two favorite nephews. Uh, also, just a gaggle of little rat children because Pappy Punchy Face, uh, owner and proprietor of the Punchy Face Dojo, just a small neighborhood gym. He would always have the little rat children of the neighborhood just come and learn how to punch. Learn how to box and kickbox. Uh, and some of them could pay, some of them couldn't, but everyone was welcome at the Punchy Face Gym. And Harvey Aracocra, reading out the will, says, And now, and now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in accordance with Pappy Punchy Face's last wishes, I would like to lead us in a short prayer to Deimos. Uh, <clears throat> Who is the leader of the cult that's made for you and me? D E I M O S, he's our deity. Who's the master of our fate and all our destiny? D-E-I-M-O-S, he's our deity. Deimos, Deimos, forever let us hold your banner high, high, high. Well, you know how the rest of it goes. Uh, no, I don't, because I'm the one who, when we return to this next week, I'm the one who's going to have to learn this fresh lore, and I made the guy. Uh, so he, he goes on from that, and he you know reads off, Pappy Punchy Face's last wishes, and and all these little orphan rat children, uh, each one of them, he goes down the list. Uh, all his favorites get, you know, a handful of coppers, uh, something like a ham or a big wheel of cheese to take home. These are poor children, so just whatever. That one S asshole kid gets a yacht, though. Always <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it> like ten bits. <laughs> <laughs> And after going going through a couple dozen of these rat children, he he then goes on to and uh, to my my beloved nephew uh, Ricardo. That's me. I I bequeath this uh, this w enchanted whiskey flask, this ever flowing whiskey flask. We're miners, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have you have reached the age of majority in rat boy okay. society. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you're like 16, 17. Thanks, <laughs> Uncle Pappy. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, this was bequeathed to me by a holy man on uh, my last expedition to the surface world. Uh, I, I can't explain it, but every 5 p.m. it spontaneously refills itself with just the most wonderful whiskey. And I would, I would like you to have it and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Pappy, God rest his soul. He wants you to have it. Yep. <laughs> Drink for it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Harvey, Harvey then turns to uh, turns to Deimos. Says now, and I'm 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 very sorry. I I want you to know I respect your religion, uh, and I I know you're not supposed to reveal this to me, but it is my job. I do have to confirm you are the Deimos because if you'll remember. Uh, the followers of Deimos all wear a mask, so any one of them could be the real Deimos at any given time. Uh, can I confirm that you are, in fact, the Deimos, uh, formerly known as Miguel Raton? Uh, oh, just, fucking... just please continue to look... Uh, just roll with it. Continue to look offended if that is correct, and I can <laughs> move on with this. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, to you, uh, Pappy Funchy Face says, I bequeath uh, the holy symbol... Uh, of the Deimos religion that I've carried with me. Uh, this is the obsidian, my obsidian orb of infinity. 
and he hands you a a black ball, like about the size of a softball, just all black all over, except for an infinity symbol inscribed in white within a white uh, within a white circle on one side of it. Uh, Any time I have held this in my hands and prayed to guide prayed to Deimos for guidance, uh, he's always always given me. It, it felt like the most personal and and wonderful advice. Uh, for some reason, it seems to give me very effective guidance uh, no more often than once a day. It's weird, but... Uh. <laughs> Clairvoyance orb. <laughs> Does it just give you really bad advice if I ask it again? Or is that's, it effective? That's that's what it says in the will. I don't... Okay, okay. It's not uh, did, did you... <laughs> Grandpappy wasn't a very religious man, but... No, he wasn't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he, he likes to... And look where that got him. Yep. <laughs> Punched by you Six in the dirt. Six feet under by your hands. <laughs> hey, you know, he was, al- he was already dead when my hands were on him. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying you killed him, just you put him six <laughs> no, feet it's, under. No, it's the way, uh, at least according to this will, I mean, we carried out his wishes. He wanted to be punched into the dirt by his only son. <laughs> he asked for it. Don't question why that's written in, like, ink at the he, bottom. He was, he was, I mean, he ran the dojo. He was very into punching. He passed that interest in punching onto you. I just assume this is what he wanted. It's how we do everything. <laughs> I always thought you were just born with those on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I have to hide my terrible rash. Oh. For 17 years. <laughs> For 17 years, I've had this unquestionable rash, and I don't know where it came from. And to you, uh, Billy, my beloved son... I bequeath these my golden boxing gloves, which I received for winning the old country uh, prize fight in my youth. The old country prize fight the un- seven. Seven. Yes. Oh my! <laughs> old country prize fight seven. That was my. I I've read the scrolls about it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. These. Uh, he says these gloves have served me well. Uh, they. My punches are always seem swifter. Maybe it's just the confidence that I feel in my heart. But whenever I fight with these gloves, I, I feel like I have the heart of a champion. You, my son, you have the heart of a champion. I would like you to wield these gloves in my name. I, I don't know what to say. I can hide my disgusting rat rash with something that isn't tape and toilet paper. <laughs> I goes on to say uh, that, that, Billy, I would also like to bequeath unto you the deed and ownership of the Punchy Face Dojo that you may continue my work of teaching the rat children how to grow up big and strong uh, by, by running the dojo in my stead. Uh, but now this is, this is very odd. He like shuffles his papers and, and it, it then says to hand you the deed, which should be included, but the, the deed is not, not included here with the will. And at that point, a, a voice pipes up from the back of the crowd behind all the rat children. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, 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 hello. Byron Contrasi. Uh, yes. Counsel for, uh, for John Smilodon, better known as Johnny Smiles. Uh, I believe I have the explanation for this. This will was apparently, apparently written before uh, your departed father, uh, Pappy Punchy Face, uh, came into uh, an agreement with my client. Uh, my client uh, loaned him a, a fair sum of gold. And uh, your father did put the deed up as collateral. Uh, as uh, as the repayment of this debt has not been forthcoming in 48 hours, uh, my client will take possession of the Punchy Face Dojo. Uh, you have 48 hours to remove whatever personal effects, uh, as well as yourselves. Billy, calm down. We'll, we'll figure this out. It's okay. And And... All the rat children hearing this, they're, there's like murmurings among the crowd. A couple of them start to cry. Oh no, oh no, Billy Punchy Face. How are we going to learn how to grow up big and strong and learn how to punch real good if we don't get no dojo, Billy Punchy Face? Children! <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Is that an intimidation? <laughs> yes, Billy, I'm Ricky. <laughs> Ricky? <laughs> Come, come with me in the corner. Of course. <clears throat> do I have Do I have the golden boxing gloves right now? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes, I can do. I can go through. I can trash these. Okay. All right. We could take him right now. I don't I don't think he has the deed. It's his client who has it. I think if we attack him, that'll just get us in legal. You don't trouble. think I could punch it out of him? I mean, you could 
you could punch anything you want out of him, but he's got to have it first, and I don't think he's holding the deed that I we I wish need. to ask him, wh I wish to ask where is his client so we can discuss matters with him. Oh, oh yes, my client, uh, he is, well, I don't know where he is right at the moment, however, uh, he does own just down the street uh, the local restaurant and butcher shop. Uh, you might inquire after him there. Odd fellow to own a butcher shop and want a dojo. He's probably did, looking to franchise the monster. Did <laughs> did your client give any specific reasons why he would find interest in a dojo for someone who owns a business of a restaurant? Uh, so the punchy face dojo, the three of you know, is uh, built into a converted warehouse. Uh, ah. Just, you know, big empty space where, you know, Pappy Punchy Face was able to put in a boxing ring in the center uh, and some punching bags around the side. Uh, so Myron, Myron Contrarsi says, well, uh, that's, that's not, really, not really my personal business, but my understanding is that he wishes to convert it uh, back into a warehouse, uh, a cold house, in fact, for storing meats for the uh, butcher shop, which is right across the street. That bastard. <laughs> we'll have some meat to store in there, I think. For the, really? for the children to punch. For the children? For the children. <laughs> okay, I thought we were. I thought that was a uh, only thinly veiled corpse threat. <laughs> no, no, I, I would of never. Of course not. <laughs> no. Bless Pappy's name. He liked to punch, but killing was not exactly his. No, never. His speed. No, he would never, never kill. I, Vengeance. I agree. Was and not even if we did have to kill, we would shroud the body. Look, I feel like, yo, know, forget it. I'll follow you guys. <laughs> if that's if that's the way this goes, let's pay this man a visit. Maybe we can we can enact diplomacy with this man at first. I know that's not Pappy's way, but please, it is at least worth a try. I will. Ever since you defected from the dojo, well, well, he's still our friend. You can't just. <laughs> I know the ways of the arcane. Something you don't know. Billy. I don't believe in anything I can't punch. <laughs> if I can't punch it, then it's not real. Oh, Billy, once we get this dojo back, I would love to see you try and punch an Eldritch Blast. Fellas, please. <laughs> Pappy wouldn't want us fighting like this on the day of his funeral. This is ridiculous. We gotta come <sighs> together to bring that dojo back into the rightful hands of his son, Billy. Ricky, you're always right. And when you're right, it's always. So why don't we go? <laughs> Let's you. go, Ricky. I think you're right, because that's what you do. If this you know what, 48 hours, I like it. It's plenty of time. We can get that money back. We're gonna get we're gonna get double that money in 48 hours. Well, I, I, how do you propose honest, that? honestly I I get paid either way, so <laughs> great. <laughs> oh, okay, Billy, how do you propose that? We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Billy. Always thinking of the end game and never the plan. <laughs> yes, that's just left, what he does. That's left to Deimos. <laughs> <laughs> well, as are you guys... Uh, We're going to go find this boy. Yeah, okay. As, let's let's, let's move on. But nice before try. you're on your way out, Harvey, uh, your your family attorney, like catches up with you oh, on yes. the way out. Mm. Uh, boys, uh, I want you to be very careful, okay? Johnny smiles... He's not just a, a local small business owner, okay? Do you think he? Do you think a butcher came up with that money by himself? Uh, he has mob ties, all right. And anything you do to him could potentially involve reprisals. What's what's a what's a reprisal? Uh, Billy, I I think it means something like uh, you know repercussions, like we something might come back to us if we do something. If to I him. punch something, something bad will happen. I hate to alarm you, but yes, in a, in a lot of cases, that's how it works. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So just, you know, we'll, we'll do some talking. We'll leave the fists for only if they're absolutely necessary. <laughs> I, I leave it to you. Ricky, you, you have always been better with the people, better with the rats, better with the kids. <laughs> I leave it to you to go go forth in my stead. I will be here as a loaded weapon for you. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. It's it's nice to know I've got your cooperation on this. Sometimes you can be a little, you know, a little quick to anger. And with my druidic training, I've realized that's not that's not always the way. That's but I ain't in your handberries. Oh, fine. If you don't want my delicious handberries, I don't want your dirty handberries. That Demos. Hey, don't call him that. Whatever. What? What's your name? <laughs> 
You don't know our good friend's name? I might have forgotten it. <laughs> it's, it's Miguel Raton. My cousin but, Miguel? But I might, he, he never shows up to the family gatherings. Miggy and Billy, that's what we used to call you to. I, yeah, I must have taken one too many punches to the dome. Oh man, how much longer of a walk is it to this place? <laughs> <laughs> so as you've been talking, you've been walking down the street. You're, you're in the old neighborhood. Uh, the, the law offices were just down the street. It's, you know, small neighborhood. You can get anywhere by walking. The law office. Uh, so you're back. Uh, you are out in front of the restaurant across the street from the Punchy Face Dojo. Uh, the sign out front depicts a knoll hunter with a crossbow. Oh, jeez. He's, he's uh, hiding in some tall grass going after some prey. Uh, the restaurant's name is, of course, the Grassy Knoll. Uh, <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, and as as you go in, you know, there's some tables. People are eating, you know, steaks and sandwiches. There's a butcher's counter uh, in the back with uh, with a knoll. Are most of the uh, patriots of this a knoll? Uh, there's there's a fair number of rat people. There's some drow. Uh, pretty pretty good mix of races. Okay, uh, a couple of goblins. Uh, just your typical. This is what you guys know to be a pretty typical underdark crowd. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, but, you, you 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 mentioned that there was one like visible knoll that we but saw. Yes, the uh, like behind behind the butcher's counter, like ringing people up and and in between customers, like chopping up meat, mm -hmm. uh, appears to be the butcher. Uh, is in fact a knoll. Yes. Okay. Good day. Hey hey, uh, can I take your order, sir? Yes, please. Well, we actually <laughs> are here to inquire about something else. We would like to speak to the proprietor of this place. Oh, yes, yes, I am the proprietor, yes, uh, 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 Lee, yes, hello. Lee, nice to meet you. Due to my religion, I must converge myself as Deimos. I would like to ask- uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar, I, I much respect to your religion, yes, wonderful. Thank you very much. Would you like, uh, would you like to try our specialty? I would like to inquire on that, but something else as well. <laughs> you seem to have eyes on Owning the Punchy Face Dojo. Oh, 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 no, no, no! I am the uh, uh, the proprietor, the manager, uh, uh, the owner, uh, Johnny Smiles. Yes, uh, uh, he he has told me that uh, that he's going to be acquiring the place across the street to uh, turn into an, an adjunct warehouse. It's going to be wonderful. I see. I'll have copper, a few, like a quarter of spider's leg, and at the same time, I would like to speak to this man. Ah, uh, spider's leg. Uh, right, coming right up. Hey, hey, you, you. He snaps over to one of the, uh, one of the goblin waiters. A quarter of spider's leg, coming, coming right up. Uh, Mr. Smiles is not in. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Do you know where he is? We actually would really like to speak to him. No clue. He doesn't. He's he's a silent partner. He did. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't come around very often. Uh, hold on. Can I? What what do I do to see if? If I can tell he's telling the truth, what is that? What uh, is insight. That? Insight, insight check. Insight? All right, I'm going to do that. You got an eight. You know what? This guy's just like <laughs> just <laughs> giggling to himself. You can't read anything off of him. All right. Let me give it a shot sure. since I'm talking to him. That's a nat 20. Oh, shit. Oh, man. He's full of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> He, as far as you can tell, this guy's never spoken a true word in his life. I'm just going, I'm going to, like, like, loom. Like, <laughs> like since I got the mask on, I'm just going to loom over towards <laughs> <him>. <laughs> Like, I, like, I am obviously onto his bullshit. I'm just like. All right, roll intimidation. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Yep. Oh, fuck me. That's bad. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I got a plus six to intimidation, so. Yeah, I Warlock's real charismatic. You're scary. <laughs> Fifteen. He, okay, he kind of shrinks back. Like, I, okay, I, 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 <laughs> what I meant to say was he doesn't come along often, but you're in luck. Ah, I, just, I, did, I do not want to offend a man of the cloth. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's just right in the back. It's fine. You want to go see him? Let's go see him. I would love to see him. Okay, great. Please, take your time. Allow me to have my order first. Here is your copper. I, 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 thank you so much. Hey, get the baddest fucking spider's legs. Now you may proceed. Wonderful. He, uh, if, if, if you'll just follow me, come on, come, come on, right back here. I <laughs> turned, I, and I turned to Billy. 
I put my gold in boxing gloves away. <laughs> 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 they make me stand out a bit in this underdark crowd. <laughs> and then I nod. All right, so he uh, he ushers you back like behind the curtain into the employees only area. There's a small like break room slash office. It's really just like a, a card table where uh, this. Uh, so two more gnolls are back there. Uh, they're kitted out like hunters. They've got uh, they've got bows and uh, like satchels. Looks like they're about to to head out in search of more meat. Uh, and they are talking to a merman. Oh. Mm. Uh, who is uh, very shark-like in his appearance. Imagine Jabberjaw only intimidating and with legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so like that fucking concept art from Beyond Good and Evil with the shark man. Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> He's a street shark in my head. Fuck yes. 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 There you go. There you go. Even better. Yeah, no, I like that better than my thing. Damos <laughs> yes. no, will just like, we can't see it, cock, cock and eyebrow. A surface dweller. Uh, so as as you come in and and see these, they're conversing, and the uh, and uh, the shark man uh, is is like castigating the gnolls. He's like he's yelling at him. Now you you mooks, get back out there into that forest, and you get me some more of that fucking room meat, and I don't care how much they cry. Get get go. And the the gnolls are like like. Cow tow and like, oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure, boss. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll get you that roomy. We know we know that's your biggest seller. All right, all right, later, boss. And they they make uh, make to brush past you and leave. I, uh, I, Billy, it's okay. It's okay. What if we just? What if we can just grab one of them? Because then we'd have this whole room against us, and that's not what we need. Oh, fine, we'll go with your plan. We'll go with your plan. <laughs> we'll start punching when we. Either are even numbers with them, or maybe they're just slightly over us, or we way outnumber them. You know me, Ricky. If I have one character flaw, it's I love punching too much. You really do, Billy, and that's something we got to curb. It's like a character arc. You've got to go for it. I know. we got to pull it back. Everything's going to be fine, though. Let's just let's just talk this to this nice shock man. He looks very tough, but it's fine. We can have a conversation. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we can... Uh, here, I promise, we'll find a way to make punching the answer. Just, it's not there yet. <laughs> Good. But perhaps we can convince, like, a prize fighting match, and the prize is the dojo. Like, who, who knows? We'll, we'll see. It could be a, we'll, we can work something out. <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of wisdom in these situations, so you I trust don't, yours. But Miguel does, and I might be able to support him. My stats may allow that. <laughs> Just turns his head. Deimos. D uh, Deimos, our, our friend Deimos, who we've known for years. <laughs> so at Respect this my religion, please. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm at this sorry. point, at this point, uh, Johnny smiles as you assume this is. He has, uh, he's seen you come in. Like, what do we got? Some more? You, you're looking for the bounty on Rumi? You want to get, you want to go get some ruse? Bring him in. We butcher him. I pay you. Is this what we're doing here? Who the fuck are you? Do you want to take this? Deimos, please, by all means. Oh, you you're, me. you're, the, uh, okay. you're the articulate one of the group. <laughs> Good day. We are here on behalf of the Punchy Face Estate. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. I sent Myron over there. I heard the very sad thing, the funeral. I, uh, uh, much respect to you. Uh, are you, I see by the, I see you got the boxing gloves there. Are you Billy? Yeah, I'm Billy. Okay, I want you to know, uh, much respect to your father. He was a good man. He was a good man. He, he was a very good man. He did did wonderful things for the children in the neighborhood. Yeah, he did, and that dojo is pretty nice, isn't it? It's real nice. It's real good for the kids. We yeah. would like to keep and it. And it's staying I, Billy, for the kids. Billy, 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 please. Billy, what, what my comrade here means to say, sir, is that we would like to keep it, and we'd like to find means of being able to keep it. Okay, well, I, I I tell you boys what uh, the deal I made with your father was uh, was ten thousand gold pieces. Uh, he put up the deed for collateral, so you want to pay that back in the next forty eight hours? Like, hey, fine, I find myself another warehouse. Now I overheard you saying there was a bounty. Would this be able to actually help us in our situation? Uh, let's see, uh, two gold Peru uh, divided by ten thousand. I don't know how many how many ruse you think you can bring in in the next forty eight hours. 
Now, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Kangaroos, kangaroo meat, that's a specialty. Roo burgers. Folks here fucking love them. Oh, interesting. I have no comment. Just, uh, just you know, logging that away. Okay. <laughs> um. Now, pray tell. You want us to hunt roos? Uh. You seem to be sending a lot of people out there to do this for you. Is there not anything more special you would like besides that? Roll persuasion. Oh boy. Here I go persuading again. <laughs> That's a 19... <laughs> Jesus Christ. 19... You're gonna talk his 23. pants off. <laughs> okay, you, you seem like nice boys. I will tell you what. There is an artificer named Chomsky. Lives just outside of town. I commissioned a special item uh, for him to make for me. It's, uh, you'll, you'll know it when you see it. It's a barrel. It's real big. It's like, like I could fit in it big, all right? The, the mook welched on the deal. He says, nah, I like it too much. I'm not going to sell it to you. Well, that's no good for a, for a legitimate businessman like me. So you get me that barrel. Consider the debt forgiven. I see. Now, just one quick thing. I know it's none of our business, but I would at least like to know why this person is withholding your property. <sighs> Fucking wizards, man. I don't know how they do. I, I offer him a fair price to make a special product custom made for me. He makes it. I seen it. It's real good. And then he says, nah, nah, I don't want to give it to you. I like it. It's mine now. Would you like us to keep him alive for further use? I... I honestly don't give a shit. I just want the barrel. Good to know. You see that, Billy? You may have your punches yet. And you get to punch magic. <laughs> Proving God wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's, let's not get crazy. <laughs> we will see what we can do. Thank you for your time. We will leave you in peace. All right. Hey, tell you what. Those boys that, that just left, they are going in that direction uh, through the mushroom forest. Uh... If you catch up to them, they might be able to take you part of the way, show you where's to go. Very well. What are your gentlemen, what are your associates' names? Uh, Harvey and Oswald. Thank you. Yes. We will be back. Wonderful. You seem to be the sporting sort. Race up to them. <sighs> All right. So, I'm going up to Harvey and Oswald? They, they have already left. Okay. We got to make tracks for them. Okay. So what, what is, yeah, like tracking? Like, is that survival? That is would be that... survival. Awesome. I'm pretty good at that. Yeah, I think, I think you, could, you could do that. All right. So yeah, I'm assuming you're... we're leaving and now we are, like, looking for their trail? Pretty yeah, much. We're, we're, we're going in that direction to see if we can catch up to them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, you, you know where the mushroom forest is. You are familiar yeah. with the area. Okay, so you so know we... the general direction in which to go. Okay, so we've just had, headed towards the yeah, mushroom they just, forest. Since they, they left in a hurry while you guys were still talking, yeah. they just have a, a fair head start on all you right. is all. Well, then I roll to see if I can find them with an eight. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Ricky, what do you see? I'll explain soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, they went to the mushroom forest, uh, which is just a little ways out of town. Uh, so you, you head off in that general direction. You think you know basically where to go. Uh, but you're not seeing any sign of these two hunters in particular. As far as you can tell, they have already gotten out there ahead of you and ha are proceeding stealthily so as not to startle their prey, which has the unfortunate unintended consequence of also making them hard for you to locate. The thing is, gnolls are experts at stealth and slipping through cracks and all sorts of things. They're particularly hard to track. I apologize, but... I can't find their trail, but hmm. I may have a means yet to find them. What you got? I am going to see if there are any animals nearby. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll perception for me. <laughs> I get a different d20. It's still giving me <laughs> shitty rolls. <laughs> I get a six. All right. Let me see what I can. Hold on. Let me look real close like. <laughs> That's the sun. Can't find anything. <laughs> why? Why is he looking straight into a torch? Yeah, you, I, I've given up trying to figure him out. There is, uh, you see some some uh, deep squirrels 
and some uh, squirrel. <laughs> yes, deep squirrels. Uh, deep squirrels. As one deep squirrel. But you <laughs> he'll, would. He'll tell you all about the ways of the uh, universe. They're in, they're just the most bog standard creatures in this mushroom forest. The mushroom forest, by the way, uh, tree sized mushrooms. Just like slightly bioluminescent, so there's enough light to see all around you mm. uh, in the underdark as you are. Uh, but yeah, you see a couple of, of deep squirrels skittering around, but you'd you'd have to be basically starving before one of those was worth hunting, and that's about all that you are able to find. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, just so I'm clear, okay. I have the ability to speak with animals. I, I don't need to be transformed or anything for that, correct? No, you okay. you can do that. Um, I forget, what uh, what level is that spell? Uh... I'm not seeing it. Should it be written? Uh, if you here. Again, I don't play D and D outside of this. <laughs> Billy, he's talking okay. to squirrels again. I I yeah. know he's talking to somebody. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's a level <laughs> one. You can <laughs> use you can either use a level one spell slot to do that instantly, or you can spend ten minutes to cast it as a ritual which will not use up the spell slot, but will use up time. Look, if you guys want to just hang tight for a second, I'm going to ask these fellas if they've seen anything. Uh, that said, it will take me ten minutes to ask them, and they might have moved on from whatever position they were in It's going to take you I asked. ten minutes to talk to a squirrel. Yeah, you learn a new language in ten minutes, <laughs> all right, buddy? Billy, Billy, then if you would like, why don't you scout ahead and try and catch up with them yourself? Yeah! All right, you know what? If if I gotta do everything, I will. I will. All right. Said Billy, okay. confident. Well, while he does that, I am going to converse with the squirrels. And I'll stick with him while he's conversing. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, we're splitting the party? All right. Well, you're just, you're just going ahead to find them, so. <laughs> yeah, you you don't have to go far. Uh, okay, cool. Go ahead and, and roll me either perception or survival, whichever is higher. So okay. Just roll a 20 sided uh, plus whatever's listed under your skills there. Yeah. Perception or, let's see, what is it? Perception or survival? survival. Yep. Yeah. Okay, my survival is bigger, and it's got that little plus three thing on it. Okay. So let's do that. Get your, get your thing out of here. <laughs> Yours is cursed. <laughs> hey, it's yes, it 11 is. plus three, 14. All right, 14. Let's see. Yeah, you're not, you're not finding anything. You see a couple more dire squirrels skittering around. Um, Where'd the deep squirrels go? <laughs> <laughs> no, dire squirrels, totally different subspecies. <laughs> They're not nearly as deep, but boy, are they dire. Is that they why you think they're 10 minutes? Don't they don't have that philosophy. <laughs> theory, but they are serious. Yeah, so you, All right, so I'm going to check back. Okay. Check back, and I didn't see anything. We're just going to talk like, with your squirrel. <laughs> we have to, like... Uh, Roll or do I have to roll for like perception against these squirrels? No, or? you can just you can just straight right. up talk to these squirrels right. as I if they was I people. I asked the squirrels if they have seen any gnolls run by recently and if they've been able to track their location and find the, or like know roughly where they went. Uh, the the squirrels like mill about for a second, like chitter amongst themselves, then one of them turns to you. Oh yeah, they went that away, boss. Thank you very much. It's uh, <laughs> been a pleasure to speak with you. Deep squirrels, always good people. Hey, thanks. <laughs> So, yeah, he just pointed you down, like, a pretty clear, like, footpath uh, that's, like, easy to follow. Uh, it's It appears to be, like, the main roadway that people would take in this general direction. Okay, so hey, now... Hey, fellas, let's take the road. <laughs> All right, so now you walked off ahead, so now is a perfect time for me to use Awaken Mind, which I could telepathically talk to any creature within 30 feet. Is he 30 feet away? <laughs> uh, he circled back around yeah, and I, joined I, I, the group. Yeah, I came back. So, yeah, you're... Idiot, come back. <laughs> I didn't believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, God? Yeah, so for, for the yes, record... it's me, Deimos. <laughs> for the record, that awakened mind only works on creatures that know at least one language, so he would not have been able to talk to that squirrel. Okay. That's, that's all you. You I can was, talk to animals. I was like, oh, well, gee, you can yeah. just use that. Yeah, he can talk to people creatures. <laughs> but, <he> <laughs> but squirrels, no. Yeah, no, squirrels are too dumb. So far, these squirrels have been the most polite yeah, characters you, we've come across. Yeah, you, only you are able to lower your mind down to their level. <laughs> <laughs> Die squirrels. <laughs> All right. Well, then we head that way. Okay. I come back and 
You can just wait for me, you know. I was on my way back. I really don't appreciate you getting in the dome here. We, I thought we talked about this last time we Billy, met. Billy, Billy, it was a safety precaution. I'm sure this was no, uh, no breach of privacy or anything. It was I'm just saying I could fashion a helmet to make it so he can't get in me and I might turn into a villain some point uh, a few issues later. Tone it down, Magneto. We can, uh, <laughs> we can just let him do his thing if it helps the situation, which it did. It got you here faster, I assume. <laughs> it did. Or at least the same pace. It did not hinder your travel. It's just making me want to punch more. Well, if there's one thing I love, it's punching, and I need to do it. That's going to be good it. when we find the people we're looking for. Then yeah. lead, lead the way. I guess we're taking the road? Yep. So, so as you travel down the road, uh, you still no sign of the knolls, but as you follow it, uh, the mushroom trees clear, and you come to, uh, this, is, this is after about like half a day's travel of, of traveling along, searching for the knolls. Uh, you come to a coastline. Uh, of a, a great underground sea, and and on that coastline, uh, at like the natural end of this road, is a like a, a beachside uh, shack, like like straight out of a Jimmy Buffett song, like <laughs> hammock out front, <laughs> like real nice porch nice. overlooking the sea. You can see like all the bioluminescent uh, jellyfish like shimmering off in the in the water out in the distance. Like seems like a real nice chill place to relax. And right next to it, this like it almost looks uh, it's an odd contrast with this nice relaxing uh, like beach house is this squat stone like almost looks like a garage or a or a or a warehouse or like very utilitarian building right next to it. Uh, there's also a, out in front of the beach house, there's a dock going out into the sea and you see a small figure uh, sitting by the edge of the dock, looks like just throwing rocks out into the water. Um, just real quick, if we've lived around this area, are, do, we, do we know where this is, what this place is? Have we any knowledge of it? Uh, you've. So you you know the forest area pretty well, and you know that it's adjacent to the sea. Like you've been mm -hmm. to this to this beach before. It's not that far away. But this particular like this particular set of buildings you're not familiar okay. with. Anyone got a high enough history to roll for that? I have plus two. I got plus one. All right, yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and roll for it then. Billy, how about your history? Mine's mine's his better. Uh, modified twenty one. Okay, actually, yeah. Ooh. No, I take that back. You do know what this yeah. is. Yeah. This. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you, you knew that this place was out here, but you'd never been before. But now that you're here and see it, you are fairly sure that this is the workshop of Chomsky the Artificer. Oh, hey, Ooh. guys, Ooh. fellas, I think we're at the place we needed to go. This is, uh, this is Chomsky the Artificer's, uh, the Artificial's place. Oh, the, yeah, uh... uh Artificer, you know, the way that... I'm a druid, I'm not a talker. So, quick, quick, uh, can we get, get everyone in? Quick, quick Hello. game, pl quick game... Game plan. <laughs> Sure, Billy. Don't worry. If his idea is bad, we'll shoot it down as a team. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, Billy. What's what's your thoughts? So I'm 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 thinking. We go in there. Mm. I I pull out my boxing gloves. And you punch. Them. And I punch them. Hold on. Yeah. We now I'm I'm gonna just let you know because you would know this as a a trained student of the punching arts. Okay. Uh, you are not gonna be able to pull these boxing gloves out and just use them. Uh, it's going to take a full round to lace them up, or they're useless. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you've got to, if you want to use them, you're either going to have to spend a turn in combat just lacing them up and getting ready, Okay. or else you're going to have to prep that before getting into combat. Can I, like, hide my boxing gloves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you've got... <laughs> Do I, like, deep pockets or a satchel? Yeah, yeah you've, well, you've got, like, a backpack. You can stow them in your backpack if you don't want them to be... But, I mean, can I, like, I don't can I, oh, like stealth carry? I don't, I don't think you can quick to Deploy them. Okay, so like, okay. However, however right. Billy, let's meet you halfway. Okay. Steal yourself, but don't throw the punches just yet. Because if things go south, then you'll get the element of surprise. All right. Yeah, pre prepare yourself. Put the gloves on. I am fine with that. But here's the thing. Don't, don't punch until uh, I'd say at least one of us says you should punch. <laughs> I'm just saying... <laughs> this is this isn't this isn't the nuclear option. You don't need permission from both of us, but at least one. <laughs> I, I will trust Deimos if he says punch, 
and I hope Deimos will trust me if I say punch. <laughs> Ricky, I... All right, so can, I'm, I'm gonna lace up my gloves. Okay. All right. Well, first off, let's talk to this person who's sitting at the pier. Sure thing. <laughs> I, I, I like that. You're the talky one, though, so uh, be All my right. guest. I, I will approach the person sitting at the pier. Okay, so as you get closer and, uh, and are able to see them a little more clearly, uh, this is a... Uh, so small size, so like roughly the same size as you guys, but you guys are proportioned like like adults. Yes. You know, adult rat men. This one is like uh, like same height as you, but shorter and squatter, uh, like a child with, with a bunch of baby fat, uh, if that makes sense. He's sitting on the edge of the dock, like swinging, swinging his legs over the side of the dock. A big boy. Yeah, and this, this person is made out of clay. Oh. Mm. Uh, they uh, they look sort of like a much smaller version of Clayface from Batman. Mm, I see. But, uh, and he... <laughs> look at the little... Uh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as soon as you step onto the dock and he, and he, you know, and he hears you coming, he turns around and goes, Oh, hey there! Hi! Hi, mister! Greetings. Hello. Hi. You seem... <laughs> The constructed sort. Oh yeah, hi. I'm, I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. That's very rude of me. I'm Cassius. I'm a golem. Hello, Cassius. I am a follower of Deimos. I would like to speak to the artificer that lives within this domicile. Oh, you want to talk to Daddy? Yeah, sure. We can do that. Hold on. Let me go get Daddy. And he he runs off. He like skitters off. I mean, I say skitters more like schlorps off because every footstep <laughs> is kind of like. <laughs> But he just like runs over to the house and and flings open the screen door and says, "Hey, Daddy! Hey, Daddy! We got visitors." <sighs> I can't kill a dad. <laughs> <laughs> and you wanted to punch first, Billy. <laughs> See, this is why we ask questions first. <laughs> and a an elderly gnome uh, walks out onto the porch, uh, and and says, "Oh, hey there, friends! Come on over, hey!" What brings you to, to my little place here? Greetings, sir. Uh, we were asked to procure a certain uh, keg of, of goods that would a certain merfolk back in the town is looking for. A merfolk? Are you talking about Johnny Smiles? Yes, sir. Oh. Wait. Is he looking for a barrel about, he like... He can't quite reach high enough to, yeah. <laughs> but like about like, yay big. Yes, sir. Yes, he is. That dingus. All right. Did he send you with the money? That he did not. <sighs> well, that Dumbo. Well, you can turn around and tell Johnny Smiles that when he's ready to pay the 90,000 gold, then he can have it. One moment, sir. Group huddle. <laughs> okay, this is not a wrinkle I expected. I uh, got to admit, I'm a little... Uh, I know he had mob connections, but he seemed like an honest businessman, at least. I uh, figured he wasn't... You expected us. honesty from a mob. Look, he seemed upfront about his needs. I figured he had a good reason. The thing I hear about the mob is you treat them right, and they do right by you, typically. Why don't we... Why don't we see if we can find the barrel? And just because then we'd it. be the thieves. <laughs> Do you really want Grandpappy to think that you're a thief? If we get Pappy's dojo through ill-gotten gains, that seems kind of against... The dojo's the about punching people! But they... I need to punch someone for the dojo! I mean, it's... Never... I keep the cycle of punching going! I feel like there's an, an unwritten thing that it's, uh, you know, punching in self-defense. Not... I don't remember that <laughs> ever the, being written. Punching the innocent seems to be something that Daddy wouldn't want. It seems like that'd be a heel thing to do. The logo is on, on it, it has in blood for the kids. <laughs> Welcome to the dojo. In blood on it says, Look, don't bring for the kids. Don't bring That's all it's about is for the kids. Don't I bring can't, Pappy's interior decorations. I can't interior kill this man because he's got a son. And I can't kill someone else's kid. But we need this dojo. And I don't know how we're going to get 90,000 gold. Sir. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Allow me to explain our situation and maybe we can figure something out. All right. Please, please do. This, this Smiles character... 
he sent us on this errand to pick up your your barrel device that everyone seems to be very cagey about not telling us what it is, <laughs> which is fine. I'll let that slide. Your business is your business. But he has the deed to our pappy's dojo, and that seems to have been gotten through ill-gotten gains, and we would like to get that deed back. And he told us we could get said deed by delivering your barrel thingy to him. And I also would like to warn you, sir, that he has sent two of his goons after you for this. We are the ones who got here first. <laughs> you, you would not be the first. And you would, uh, fuck, I, <laughs> <laughs> I am, contrary to my chosen profession, I am not a trained voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> you're also happy to keep track of a lot of characters. Yeah, you're, it's okay. <laughs> it's, I've been very that, That's so why far. I specifically yeah. say most of the characters I do when I yeah. DM, they're all going to sound the same. I think so, Billy has had five different accents. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> so, so Cassius pipes up. He says, y'all are from a dojo? Is that, daddy, daddy, is that where you learn how to punch people real good? I go up to him, I say, it is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm, I've never been as good at, at punching as my big brothers. I would so love to learn how to punch people. Big brothers, you said. Rap. <laughs> <laughs> and... And Chomsky says, "Oh, oh, that's 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 right. You would you are not the first son, and you will not be the last that he sends over here." That that Johnny smiles. He's a, he's just a big old dummy. <laughs> well, here's the thing, sir. Now that we understand your situation, we have no intention of inciting violence on you or your sons. The question here is: Is there anything? If if Mister Smiles has no intention of paying. Is there anything we can do to help this process along? Because we've got 48 hours to figure this out. And please try to make this as simple for us as possible because we're starting to become middlemen and it's becoming a big, uh, pardon my French, clusterfuck. Oh, oh easy, Davos. <laughs> All right, well, let, let me tell you how this works, right? You got this big, scary shark man saying, I'm going to show up in 48 hours and take your dojo, right? And you're thinking, well, I mean, you look like a like a boy who loves some punching. Uh, that's might be all I know. I'd say you hit the nail on the head on that one. <laughs> and you're thinking, well, I think I can take this shark boy. I think I could just punch him right in his nose and everything would be just fine. Yeah. But you're thinking, but what if his bigger, scarier boss shows up and punches me twice as hard? No. He has. Wait, wait, he has We're that? thinking that, perhaps. <laughs> okay. Well, you... maybe not his big, scarier boss, but his many, many underlings all punch at once. <laughs> <laughs> well, now let me tell you, boys. There is, there is no way you are walking out of here with that barrel. All right? But that doesn't mean I can't help you. Cassius here, he's... He's always wanted to learn how to punch as good as his big brothers. Cassius, would you like to go with these boys and help them out and learn how to punch some guys real good? Oh, I surely would. I surely would, Daddy. Can I? Can I, Mr. Billy? Can I come with you and learn how to punch? I love a golem moving around <laughs> with his innocence. Flopping around. I, I put my golden boxing glove on his clay shoulder <laughs> and say, you're coming with us. <laughs> and by the time these 48 hours are done, you're going to be able to punch a tree in half. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> and, uh, and Chomsky continues, Now what you, now what you want to do is get, get all your buddies together, just as many people as you can get together to help you out, because he's going to send some, because you, you could take Johnny Smiles, all right? <laughs> I know looking at you, you're a man who loves his punching. You could take him, but he's not going to come by himself. He's going to come with a bunch of goons. So you're going to need all the help you can get. And I'll tell you what else you got to do. You're going to have to go on down to Johnny Smiles' boss, who's a man named Don Tigre. You need to make sure you have Don Tigre's blessing, because you, you can take Johnny Smiles. If you get all the help you can get, you might be able to take his goons. I'm going to tell you something, son. You cannot take Don Tigre. So you want to make sure that Don Tigre is not going not gonna to come after you for vengeance. But if you can do that, then when, when Johnny Smiles shows up in 48 hours, you say 48 hours from now or 48 hours from when? Now. Uh, from no, when, from it's, when we it's left. Been, uh, probably more like 
I don't 36 know. 36 f- hours probably now. No, yeah, it's been like 40, 44 hours maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you're. Is he an honest businessman more so than Mr. Smiles? Uh, let's see. Let me, let me roll for Chomsky and see if he knows that. Look, Don Tigre's a hard man, all right? And he is a dangerous man. But if he tells you that you have his blessing, you can trust his word. Okay. Do you know where we can find Don Tigre? Uh, in fact, I do. He lives uptown, uh, just just up the hill from the bank. You know where the bank is? You do know where the bank is. Yes. <laughs> he owns the bank, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, second question, almost equally important. If we are to approach Don Tigre, uh... You know, is he? Is he? Does he see visitors? Is this something we can uh, we can do without inciting his rage just by our very presence? <laughs> uh, let's see. Go ahead and uh, roll a persuasion. Oh, jeez, that's not my forte. Let's open the rest. Ten. <sighs> you know what? I'll, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for you boys. I was heading into town tomorrow morning anyways uh, because Don Tigre is uh, is having a wedding for his daughter. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Did you just put us in the Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Why don't you got? Why don't you boys stay the night? We'll all go back into town together, and I will see if I can make some introductions for you. That sounds... I love your proposal, Chomsky. Let's give us just a sec. All right. Fellas, I like this idea. I'm not going to lie. Having the, having the big guy uh, give us his blessing, even if, you know, someday maybe we might owe him a favor. <laughs> I think that's, uh, you know, that seems more in line with what Pappy would do, considering he already put up well, his dojo as collateral for some other deal that, as far as I know, we were not aware of. Now, here's the thing, is that... What if we can find a crack in, in Don Tigre for Mr. Smiles? That being said, what if we go up to Don Tigre and ask him, is there anything that he doesn't like so, about Mr. So Smiles? So kind of play these sides against one another. Yes. Ah, okay, Deimos. I see, what that, I see how that sneaky religion of yours is uh, paying off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing it for the kid. <laughs> no, you're doing it for the punches. We know who this is for. No, 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 no. Ricky, he's doing it for his new pupil. Ah, yes, the student-master relationship. Always. And we're not going to owe Chomsky anything. Of course when not. We're, when we're done with this, his kid is going to be coming to our dojo, and he's going to be punching mushrooms I gotta admit, across uh, the forest. Having, having a rat boy like you train a golem is a very interesting scenario that, honestly, I think a spinoff series uh, would <laughs> be quite entertaining. I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take a look and see if, that's, if that uh, could ever work, you know, Ricky. It seems I don't know. Plausible, uh, I, I have no idea. Merchandisable. You know what? You would be surprised how often you just think of something off the top of the dome <laughs> that winds up turning into an elaborate spinoff. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's right. smaller things. things. Yep. I, I think we've come to a natural break point. <laughs> I think we're going to take five. We're going to read out some bit drops. We're going to get some more water. And we're going to see what happens with Cassius, the littlest golem, and his new mentor, Billy Punchy Face, in just a couple minutes. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. And we are back. Gentlemen, so you are, it is... It is like halfway through the day at this point. It's like, you know, getting on towards afternoon. You are at Chomsky's workshop. It took you about a half a day to get out here. It's going to take you about a half a day to get back. He has invited you to spend the night before he goes in uh, to town tomorrow. So we're just going to chill at his place? Uh, are we? Th- that is up to you. He has yeah, invited you. Out. Okay. To so spend the night, should you so desire. We have about you- 36 hours left, by my estimation. Uh, that sounds about right. <laughs> hmm. Staying here the rest of the night would cut that down to 24. And I, we, I know. That's- and then we've only got that 24 hours to get back and convince Don Tigre to, to uh, you know, to not I- only have an audience with us, but agree that it is okay for us to... Uh, Defy Mr. Smiles. All right, so not saying that's not possible, but 
that does leave us with exactly one option. <laughs> so, I have here something in my sheet called Shelter of the Faithful. I can seek shelter, healing, and assistance at the Shrine of Deimos. I want to go, I personally want to go back to town and converge with the Order to see if there's see any... See if we can play the Order and the Mob against each other. Yep. <laughs> well, that's one thing. We can play, we can see if we can play the Order against the Mob and also see if any of the Mob knows any dirt on Mr. Smiles that we can use as collateral with Don Tigre. Hmm, okay. I mean, we, we know where he is going to be. It basically... Uh, so do we know when, uh, Chomsky's gonna be meeting with Don Tigre? Like, the time so we can try and sync up so he can still introduce us, even if we don't travel there with him? Uh, so let's, let's assume that you've asked him as much, and, and he, and he says, uh, oh yeah, it's gonna be on, like, a Don Tigre wedding is an all-day thing. I was, I was going yeah. to say, I'm assuming yeah. it is a scheduled, long-lasting event. Yeah, so he's he's going to leave first thing tomorrow morning. It's going to take him, like, half the day to get into town, and then any time. Okay. Uh, so, I, yeah, I, uh, I don't have a problem with us trying to get more dirt, just backing ourselves up before yeah. going to this here wedding. And even if I go to the wedding, if I, if I walk in with my attire, I'm just going to look like any old... Order of Deimos. So it's not like there's anything inconspicuous about me going. It's just a you know, member of the order decided to go to the party. Perhaps your entourage might be the thing that uh, well, draws I, attention. Well, I won't go with the entourage. I'm just going <laughs> to go by myself. Oh, well, thanks for inviting us. <laughs> Ahead of time, anyway. <laughs> until you guys show up. Billy, what are your thoughts? I agree. I think... I agree that... Staying here is going to waste time, but I, I don't want to... Chomsky's going to get us in. He can get us in. Yes. Easy. But that said, we can just probably just meet up with them. Th those in are town. my thoughts, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that. We can just meet up with them in town. If you, guys, if, you, if you guys are cool with this, I'm cool with this. I just, I just brought Cassius in my wing. <laughs> I love him. He's, he's my he own. He can come with us. He's can... I know, he's coming with me. <laughs> We got We got to do this together. We'll, we'll take him along. He, All right. He can. He can. I wonder what kind of uh, you know opinions the the order will have us bringing a golem around. But we can see. <laughs> what do we care? He still owns the entire place until twenty four hours. Is yeah. Up. So he pretty much could do whatever the hell he wants with the uh, with the dojo until twenty four hours. It's true. It's it's your true. property until Mister Smiles comes a knocking uh, tomorrow. Or day after, rather. <sighs> yeah, I'm. I'm thinking we should duck it from now. All right, just take them and go. You want to head off to the order? I'm gonna head. I'm gonna go back to go to the order. So that's me. Well, then, I all like right. That. I, I say we travel as a group. It's what Pappy would want, and right. we can bring our new student along if he's oh, we so can, inclined. We can show him the order. <laughs> he's always want. I'm sure he's never been to church a day in his life. <laughs> so we'll meet the gnome in okay. town. All right. So, uh, so if you're heading back towards town, uh, packing, packing, passing back, back through the mushroom forest, uh, let me have uh, you guys roll perception. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck me. There's my bad roll. Fifteen. <laughs> oh, uh, thirteen. Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, you, Ricky, uh, as the, the nature-attuned druid who knows what to listen for, oh. <laughs> you're about half, halfway back into town, and you hear uh, just a little ways off the trail, you hear uh, the sound of something that sounds like a scuffle. Hey, hold, hold, hold on, guys. Picking, I think there's a fight going on over there. Where? In this general direction. <laughs> just, off, just off the beaten path. Rolling stealth. <laughs> 20. The nat 20? Nat 20. Nice. Is that two of them? I, I'm... <laughs> Wait, those metal... Wait, those metal <laughs> dice. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, are you guys accompanying him, or are you letting him scout ahead? I'm... Hey, Cassie, it's right. You ready? We're, gonna, we're about to go together. My stealth's pretty good, so I'll accompany. Eight. <laughs> Let me roll. My stealth is also pretty good. Being a rat boy. Uh, ten plus sixteen. All right. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, you you come across. Um, uh, there's a little clearing, uh, and you guys staying back in among the mushrooms and the fungal shrubberies and such. Uh, you are able to, as far as you can tell, nobody involved in this knows that that any of you are there. Okay. Uh, you see a dire kangaroo with its leg caught in a bear trap, and it's uh, and the two knolls from before are uh, are surrounding it. I mean, as much as two, they're on either side of it anyway. Uh, like taking, yeah, it. jabbing at it with their hunting spears, and it's like going back and forth with its fists up. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and they're like cackling like, yeah, yeah, we're going to bring you back. We're going to make you meat. We're going to make you meat, see? <laughs> I have a, I have an idea. All right. I want to scare them. <laughs> and you have, you, do we know of his unique ability? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All you, of us, been, we're I've all been, aware. Yeah, okay. you guys, you guys have been friends for a while. This all right. is I have an idea. common knowledge. I'm going to process into their minds a little bit of a a scary story, if you will. You come at them, and they won't know what hit them when you come in. So when I give you okay, the signal, uh, when on. I give when I give I, you the signal, I have one question, real real quick. Yeah. Uh, I know we have a problem with Mr. Smiles, and these are his goons. Is there a reason we are confronting them? Do we are we going to use this? to try and get leverage on Smiles? Do we want to see if they know anything? Is this to rescue the Diaru, which as were I appreciate, but also understand that a part of nature is hunting and eating other animals. And- uh, Okay, so you have no concern. I- I, I might not be a, I might be a were but I don't, you know, I don't think the wolf man was best friends with wolves. <laughs> well, this, well, this is a little bit of a scare tactic, if you will. While I use my mental abilities to... Perhaps to we can say, like, we have the spirit of the forest, and, uh... Boom. You know, we think that they need to take the message back to Mr. Smiles that that dojo is bad luck, or bad, bad spirit. And we give them something to take back with them. To go, look, I have proof that it's bad luck. Okay. Okay. What is that something? What about? have we? <laughs> can we fashion anything with the... I have... I have ten torches? Holy hell. I, <laughs> I, uh, so why? The only thing I have is okay. a holy symbol. Uh-oh. Yeah, we gotta hurry yep, up. That, that, All right. that rue is going down yeah, if, it is. if you guys don't act. Okay. I have the magic power of entangle. Uh, I can have the leaves and the forest itself attack them to, uh, you know, more encourage them to believe us as a woodland spirit. All right. So, no, I have a so, shovel. So what, real quick, I'm and sorry. And I don't need it. Silent image. Silent image. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Create an illusion of an object. Okay, I'm going to create the illusion of embers around the rue. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> All right. You right. anger the forest! Wow. Silent image again. <laughs> While he's doing this, I am using wild shape and I become the form of the <laughs> Wah Kangaroo. <laughs> I don't know how long this transformation takes, so I want to <laughs> jump into it right away. <laughs> Let's roll intimidation. Uh, should he roll performance along with that? Um, intimidation or performance, whichever is higher. My, <laughs> they're both one. Okay. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. my intimidation. Not a very intimidating. My where, intimidation is six. We so. Okay. Well, well, we'll go with your intimidate score. Oh, geez. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Let me see what they got for. We got fire and a, I would assume, slightly bigger kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like that. Yeah, the silent image of like enveloping the kangaroos. Just like, Rawr! Let's see. All right. Fifteen, you said. Yep. So, uh, so they turn to each other like, this, this is some kind of kangaroo trick. <laughs> Fuck them kangaroos. Look, it's twice the meat. It's twice the meat. It's going to be great. Roll initiative. They're going after you. Oh, <laughs> but they don't know you're there, though. That's the I best know. part. They don't. Yeah, yeah. You guys are still in stealth. Oh, yeah. We can take that back. Yeah, you two are still in stealth, but uh, you uh, just jumped out at them. But, so uh, they are. But, and here's the best part is I have magic. So <laughs> when you're just like, don't anchor me. <laughs> I rolled a seven. Well, uh, let's see. My initiative is two, so I rolled an eleven. 
I rolled a 12, and let's see, my initiative is 5, so 17. All right, uh, sorry, around the circle one more time. 7. 7. 11. 11. 11. 17. Okay, so 17. 11. God, I hope he doesn't roll for the clay boy. Okay, uh, Billy, you're up first. Okay. And this is, I'm not going to bother using miniatures for this. Uh, I'm more of a theater of the mind type of dude, but it's its a circular clearing. You have mm-hmm. plenty of room to maneuver. Sure. Okay. Uh, All right. But but as soon as you step out of the shrubberies, uh, they're, they're going to have a chance to, uh, to detect that you're there. Okay. I haven't punched for a long time. Are, okay. your, are your gloves still on? Have they been on since we were at? They've been on. Yeah, I okay. put them on when we went in there, so I still okay. have them on. Hey, just okay, I'm... <laughs> Since since you're in stealth, I'm gonna let you have that. But in future, <laughs> you, oh really? Yeah, because well, I mean they are boxing gloves. Well, you have them on, you're not gonna be able to like, uh, like if he tries to hand you that flask, you're not gonna be able to drink from it. You're not gonna be able to do anything with your hands but punch. Yeah. So it's it's important. <laughs> That's why I have them on. Okay. So you have them on now. <laughs> yeah, they've been on. I I am fully aware that I can do nothing but okay, punch while they're right. on. Yeah, he, is, he is not taking action. Because yeah, that would require dexterity. Because yeah, the last time you mentioned those those gloves, you were stowing them away and not letting them be seen. So no, now, I said I said I put them on before we get in. Okay. All right. So yeah. All right. You've got them on now. Uh. I go over to Cassie and say, hey, watch this. <laughs> um, so I have, uh, how does rage work? Uh, so you can go into your rage state as, yeah. as a bonus action. So, okay. if you so can, I can do that, I can do that right you now. You can do right? that right the fuck now. Okay, so I'm going to rage and then also I, I have reckless attack. So I'm just gonna run right in and I'm gonna deck one of them. The one on the right to my right. Okay. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and uh, roll to hit. Reckless attack, I believe, gives you advantage. Yes. yes, it does. Okay. And let's see. It's a d20, so is it for strength? Yeah, and actually, uh, you know what? Another point of order. Uh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, roll for initiative again. Oh, okay. Uh, that is... I get to Nine. Nine. Plus... plus okay, my, plus my five, that's... Eleven. No, nine. No, it's fourteen. Five, 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 right, right. <laughs> uh, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Let me just. It's been a while since I've had to adjudicate a combat. <laughs> I haven't done this since high school. Uh, okay. All right. So go ahead and and roll to attack twice and take the highest roll as okay. you're, as you're to hit. All righty, Billy punching, punching faces. Uh, all right, that is a 14, and then uh, with my strength? Yep. Uh, it is, it's right here. Uh, add seven to that. Oh, okay, plus seven. So, 21, or 20. <laughs> so, I'll take the 21. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you clock him right across the face. Uh, go ahead and roll for damage. 1d6, plus seven. Oh, wow. Uh, so I hit him for a lot. Okay. Uh, so 6 plus 13. 7. That's, yeah, 13. Yep, 13. Okay. Did you just do your max damage? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Came in swinging. <laughs> I wow. haven't punched in forever. Billy, punch your face. It's a run in there and deck this dumb ass knoll. <laughs> well. Okay. So you now, you feel the power of these golden gloves coursing through you. Uh huh. You feel just faster and stronger than you've ever felt. Maybe it's the spirit of Pappy Punchy Face helping you punch like a father son Kamehame Punch. <laughs> you you can now go again. Oh, oh wow. okay. All right. So Bill, <laughs> Billy is really OP. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, then, as soon as I punch him out, I'm going to turn around and try to clock the other one right next to him. And okay. That dude said Don Tigre would still be too much for him. <laughs> I don't think he knew who he was talking to. <laughs> I don't think you know what Don Tigre's stats are like. <laughs> I've got a roll of quarters in my hand. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's 15 plus 7. I'm so bad with math off the top of my head. 22, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 22 or... Oh, geez. Yeah, whatever that was. A, that was a four or an eleven. So I'll take the twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, that's. So you you clock the first one. He's reeling. You whirl around, and with the force of your of turning towards him, you roundhouse the other one. Go ahead and roll for damage. All right. 
That's ten. Ten. All right. So, while I'm in kangaroo form, can I communicate telepathically with him, or does he have to initiate it? Uh, it is your ability, so you would have to initiate okay. telepathic right. contact. So I, yeah. can't, so I can't mentally shout things to him whenever yeah. I want. So I mean, you can... <laughs> wanted to make sure of that yeah. before the fight started. Yeah. Oh, also, rage gives me plus two damage. You, I just realized. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll mark that down. <laughs> you angered the force, and the force responded with Billy Punchy face. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we've yeah. created actually, for you. Actually, I think I included that, too, in the seven, just figuring you would usually oh, yeah, be okay. using that. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So, cool. So, okay. All right. So All right. What is next? And so uh, you are next up in the order. Okay. So he clocked them. Yeah, they're he's just, just reeling on the ground now. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're not uh, they're not on the ground, but they like they took a big hit each, and they're kind of like shaking it off. They're dazed. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> they are they are some strong knolls. Uh, all right. I run up to kick one of them. All right. Uh, let's say the one he struck second. Okay. Uh, ba -ba. So with how this is written, just so I'm... Yeah. So you so get, sure. um, in your kangaroo form, you get one punch and one kick each yes. round. Oh, I get to do both? Yeah, you get to do okay. one of each. Yeah. Cool. All right. Dire kangaroos are nothing to fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, brother, cousin, <laughs> however our relation is. <laughs> brother, cousins. And when I say brother. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, then I go, I, I swing for a kick at the, at this, like I said, the second one that got hit. All right. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, what do I add? Uh, oh, plus five to hit. Okay. Yeah. So nine. Nine. Yeah, he's, uh, as he's reeling from Billy's vicious attack, he swerves out of the way. Ah! And, and you whiff through the air. <laughs> All right. Well, when the kick misses, he doesn't see. He uh, doesn't know my hand is also coming. Ha -ha! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Eight. Eight. <laughs> yeah. By this point, he's shaking it off. He's come back to himself. He's like, yeah, no. He ducks under it. Roll him with your fucking dice next time. <laughs> <laughs> here, no, no. Here, here, here. You go. Take this one instead. <laughs> sure, I'll use that one use next that chance. One. <laughs> So now I'm just out here. <laughs> All right. You're goals. still back in the in the shrubbery. It's your go. All right. Well, all right. It's good that these chuckle fucks don't see me. <laughs> let, you, they don't know who yeah. you are, but oh boy, showmanship Billy over here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's going to be really rough to get rid of. So I guess we're going to have to get rid of these guys <laughs> or at least knock them out. My, uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you my thought because I have no way of telling <laughs> you. That's yes. right. You don't. Oh, nope, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wait. So da, 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 da. Is, awake, is Awakened Mind something I can just do at will since it's talking? Or Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. To, to you, don't kill them. Just knock them out. All right, my plan was going to be now we can kill them and bring them a kangaroo and say, hey, your friends died, but okay, this also works. <laughs> well, I, I guess if you want to do but that, you know what? I, you seem to be the, the planner of the group and the, the, the one who knows stuff, so I will. Ricky is agreeable to your plans. All right. Well, we can, we can converge about plans afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and throw an Eldritch Blast and then use my movement to go back into stealth. Okay. Do you, do you accept that? Um, I will, it'll take a separate stealth roll, but let's... That's what I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, fling the bolt, then go back into stealth. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't even know you're there, so I think that's a reasonable course of action. Fair enough, okay. Yeah, so go so, ahead and roll for that blast. The one who took the most damage from your hit, I'm gonna aim for him. Okay. Wait, right, shit, I should, that's, do you want to accept that? Or yeah, that's, roll again? that's fine. 11, so 11 plus 6, 17. Yep. Yeah, your uh, your blast hits him square on the forehead. Go ahead and roll for damage. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Told you the forest was a mad fucker. He just gets decked. <laughs> All right, so that's a uh, one. D Jesus like the idea. Christ! That's a one d ten plus four of force damage. Eldritch Blast is real good. Eldritch that's, Blast is fucking great. That's like a, the thing that makes warlocks dope in fifth edition. All right, just imagine you just went in with whirlwind punches and just. <laughs> Eight, so eight plus four, so that's twelve. Twelve points of force damage. His head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Knock roll. him out, huh? <laughs> I'll roll back. Oh, fuck it! I'll roll back into stealth. 
They didn't see you. For all they know, I punched his head and he yep. exploded. <laughs> I am, I am now fist. I want to know star. that that's the one I missed. <laughs> so it's bap, and then like you see his two limbs go right by. Like, oh, thank God. <laughs> that's an eleven to, to go back into stealth. Uh, the the surviving knoll <laughs> uh, like follows the trail of the eldritch blast back towards the bushes and goes. Good. And then books it. Stop him! <laughs> yeah, he he is off. He is already off in, like, on the opposite side of the clearing. He has disappeared into the shrubbery. You can, tr- uh, you can try and pursue, and by you, I mean Billy, because it's his... Well, actually, it's uh, the, the trapped dire kangaroo. Okay. It's actually his turn, and he's, like, scrabbling at the bear trap ar- across his foot, saying... What? Will you fuckers please help me? <laughs> Will you get this fucking bat trap off of me, mate? I hear you. <laughs> but it is now, uh, yeah, he can't do anything because he's trapped in a bear trap. It is Billy's turn. I'm pursuing him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll a uh, roll a survival check. Okay. Roll well. Uh, 14. 14. You can still see him. Off in the distance, uh, like, or not, you can barely see his silhouette, Mm -hmm. uh, and you can hear him, like, crashing through the underbrush, but you cannot, you have not caught up with him yet. And it is now Grant's go. How far away is he? Uh, You don't know. You just saw him disappear into the brush, and then you saw Billy disappear after him. Okay. Uh... Mm. Uh, With how fast he's moving, I'm guessing all of my things that are like, stop things around you, will not work. So... Yeah, you'd need to know where he is, and and you don't unless you go into the underbrush after him. The cries of the kangaroo would have made me decide to help it. So... I go over to the kangaroo, and uh, I'm guessing, so what kind of trap is it? Uh, so it's a bear trap. A bear trap. So you can either try to use uh, to use your mighty wear kangaroo strength to just straight pry it open, or you can try and uh, do an investigation check to see if there's, like, if there's any other way to disarm Let's it. Let's go with that strength check. Okay. I should have, well, uh, that's an all right roll. Uh, 17. Uh, it it gives just like a little bit, and then snaps back shut. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, yeah. It doesn't. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't hurt you or anything. Okay. No, yeah. but but does uh, it hurt him? Yeah, I'm not worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry he, for our kangaroo friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, like it, like for how much you were able to move it, it doesn't even quite like clear his flesh. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't it's like it's not a gonna snap. do any. Indi- any additional damage. Okay. It's just like, right, well. you you think by applying enough force, this is like, you could do it, <laughs> but that that did not do it by itself. All right, piss. Well, I'm, I'm going to go after him. This is not going to, we're, we're going to have to just stop this now. <laughs> yeah, we have to, we have to stop this. All right, so what am I going to roll for this? Uh, roll survival. Ah, no. <laughs> Six. Six. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you've you've caught up to where to where Billy is, and you're like two abreast, like crashing through the underbrush. But uh, you can see you can see where Billy is, like heading after him. But that's all you can judge by. Piss. Yeah, you you can't see him, you can't hear him, you well, don't know what's going on. You're the only uh, one who's got track on him, so you got to be the one to stop him. I should have entangled before they left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. It is now. Okay, it's our our boy the Knoll's turn. Let me roll to see if he's able to uh, to evade you. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys, um, Deimos and Ricky, roll me a perception check. Perception check, you say? Which is the big one? Ha! Natural one. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Um, oh shit! No, you're not in the brush. Sorry, I meant. Um, yeah, I was about the same. Okay, yeah. all right. Sorry, I meant you roll a perception no, check. Okay. Yeah, that's on me. 
Oh boy. Uh, perception, you said? Yep. You sure you didn't mean something else? Uh, <laughs> it's six. Uh, I'll, I'll let you do um, survival if it's higher than perception. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, that would be eight. Eight? Uh, okay, you can... You can still hear him crashing around down there, but he's he's further away now. <sighs> Fuck it. Yeah, and... Uh, okay, so the... The kangaroo, uh, the dire kangaroo is now, like, reaching down and, like, trying to actively help you pry okay. the thing. Uh, try another strength check, this time with advantage. You know what, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one! Okay. <laughs> I gave it to you for that. Hey! hey. Alright, uh, that would be a 19. A 19? Yes. Okay, this time you are able to to get the trap open just long enough for the kangaroo to try. Let me find his uh, stat block here. All right, he's gonna try and remove his foot real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, he <laughs> like, with the lightning quick reflexes of a hopping kangaroo, he in fact just like hops right out of the trap <laughs> and then like limps a couple steps cause that hurt him real bad. And now uh, it's back up the list. Billy, it is your turn. Stop him. I, the voices in my head tell me to punch. I, <laughs> I have to punch him. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what. Give me a uh, give me a strength check real quick. A strength check? Oh, yep. I like this. Certainly. I like where this is oh, going. my God. Certainly. I will give oh you a strength God. check. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's 21. Okay, you, the voices, the voice of Pappy Punchy Face inside, inside you tells you, Son. Son, you've got to use the punching that lives in your heart. And you punch the mushroom tree in front of you, knocking it over. <laughs> and, yes! And creating a clearing in front of you. You can now roll, uh, you can now roll a survival with advantage. <laughs> To try to catch up to the knoll. Oh my gentle lord. <laughs> Pappy, I shan't let you down! Alright, there's 15 or. Yeah, 14. Well, I got 15. Okay, you, uh, through this newly creating, created clearing that you have made, uh, you managed to, uh, to catch up to the knoll. You are now, you are. <laughs> yep. You are right on him. <laughs> you can. So that was your uh, that was your move action. Okay. You, you can still uh, make uh, a engaged. standard action. Okay. All right. No, Stand like, never mind. You, you make your own choices. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, standard action. Uh, am I still raged right now? Uh, yes, you are still enraged. Right. Okay. Cool. I. I'm gonna just punch him. Okay. I'm just gonna punch him. Hey. Stick with what you know. <laughs> I like the idea that Cassius is just watching this all go down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saw you fellow giant mushroom with your hands. Okay, nope, not that one. That was a, for a ten, yeah, that was a 10 or, yeah, that's a bit better, or a 15, I'll go 15. Uh, 15, okay. You clock him. Roll for damage. Nice. Hey! Uh, eight. Eight, all right. So, yeah, you, uh... You, like, as you're running to catch up, you do, like, a flying, just <laughs> elite punch. Superman punch. <laughs> yes! Yep. You clock him in the back of the head, hit the ground, and, and do a somersault pop up standing, and he's like holding the back of his head like, ow, oh, oh, fucking Jesus, oh, stop, 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 <laughs> fucking stop. He's, he is surrendering. <laughs> uh, you may now deal with him as you wish. Combat is ended. Okay, awesome. Where were you going? What the I fuck, man? I was just, just, just hunting ruse. Hunting ruse, huh? Yeah, boss pays us to fun, fucking hunt ruse. Were you not listening? Oh, well... <laughs> Who you working for again? Johnny Smiles! John oh, good old, good old Johnny. We're gonna have a talk. We're talking now! No, we're gonna have a talk with some friends. 
<laughs> I pick I, I pick him up. I assume I can do that. Uh, roll me a strength check. I will. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a talk. You're going to walk with me. <laughs> and, oh, fuck. Yes, that was a 10. Uh, 15. Yeah, nothing doing. This this guy okay, fine. This guy is head and shoulders above you. You can <laughs> you can grab him by like his collar, but you're reaching up to do that much. Can I catch up? Yeah, you guys can catch up. You guys oh, can I wanna, Okay, I, I'm I, just... I, I don't want to show myself at the fuck all. Okay. So... Well, roll stealth then. Yeah. 15 16 17 18 19. <laughs> just trying to pick. Him up. <laughs> yeah, he is <laughs> Come he, on, come on. He is entirely focused on Billy. He he does not appear to see you. Scream in his head. Go. <laughs> intimidate. Yeah, roll intimidate. 7 12, 13. He's, I mean, he was already surrendering, so he's just <laughs> a quivering wreck now. Like, I, I want to go, guys. Get rid of the fuck, fuck, I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, well. I'm just dragging him by his, I'm just saying, hey, you know what? Come on, we're going. We're going. Is he following me? Yeah, he's he is cooperating He's complacent. With you. All right, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm walking back towards before, the clearing. Yeah, okay. So before you do that, I'm going to cast, since I have this thing called Misty Vision, which allows me to cast Silent Image at will, Yep. I'm going to cast uh, Silent Image on myself to appear as just a tree, so I don't <laughs> be seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's Coming fine. In. He... He is entirely like, this guy's a wreck at this point. I'm not even going to bother to roll for anything because he's just, he, he just doesn't want to get punched no more. He saw Billy he's, punch, yeah. all, punch through the trees. Yeah, he's, he's got people punching his head. He's got voices happening in his head. He, <laughs> like, he is not resisting whatsoever. Okay, good. He is paying attention to nothing but the voices and the threat of punches. So I guess I'm just around, just a wear kangaroo, just well, staring him down. Well, I can now speak in your head. <laughs> I assume we can all like congregate back. Yeah, to yeah, clearing. you can. You guys can converse yeah, we can all, we can freely. All converse. Can I? Can I have like the silent image like show to them that I can, they can see me, but he can't see me? Or yeah, if you want to stay that, hidden, sure. That, well, yeah. Um, that's the thing. Can silent image work that way? That's a that's a good question. I will I will say that you are able to like once you actually roll me. Um, Roll me a charisma check, since charisma that's check. your spellcasting stat. Sure thing, why not? A 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, yeah, you're able to, like, notice when the knoll is looking away for a hot second and just drop it to show it to them. Guys, roll perception. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to know. <laughs> uh, I got six. Uh, I have 13. Okay, uh, you, Billy, notice uh, this tree for just like a split second, like, and it's Deimos, and then it's a tree again. All right, so I'm like, so, so yeah, you're in the know. He's there. You know what's going on. Okay, I'm going to turn back to my normal self, by the way. Okay. All right, it, it, did the did the where? Uh, the, I'm sorry, the dire kangaroo just hop off and he's gone. No, he's he's still around. He's like he's seated and he's like rubbing his, his leg. yeah, like fucking fucking help. <laughs> just, can one of you help me out with this? I'm, Jesus, I'm just hoping through the forest, and these assholes with the traps. Is uh, he talking? We can hear this. Yes, yeah, you can all yeah, hear he's this. He's straight up talking common. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's yeah, he's just talking. Yeah. Oh God, I assumed I, we could all hear him. Yeah, he was talking in English. Yeah, he's speaking just totally normal. All right, well, I got no heels for that. I have. I use Goodberry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much? Uh, how many good berries? Does Up that give to you? ten. Up to ten. Okay. Well, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll to see how many you get. Okay. Drink the blood grapes, my <laughs> friend. Drink of them. I'm guessing I roll a d10. Ten. I assume. Yes. Is okay. it a zero? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's a ten. <laughs> okay. He he scarfs up the berries from your hand, uh, and his his leg mends itself, and he's. He seems like my right, sensu like, oh, berries. <laughs> fucking thanks, mate. I what are you? Who are you? What's going on? Why did? Why anything today? <laughs> Fuck, man. This is I am Billy Punchy Face, and I have like I motion to the knoll. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm Billy Punchy Face, and I motion to the knoll. And with our dojo, you two can save yourself. 
and scare the shit out of people that would harm you. You're Man! You're selling the dojo to a dire... Okay. <laughs> look, look, man, I'm, I'm pretty all right at the punches and the kicks and the whatnot. I just... You can't punch your way out of a bear trap, man. <laughs> it's not how it fucking works. <laughs> Try telling that to me again. <laughs> look, bear trap's right there. You want to take a crack at it, go ahead. I punched the bear trap. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Listen, just have patience with him. <laughs> <laughs> roll, uh, roll dexterity. <laughs> Me? Yep, roll dexterity. Okay. It's gotta be a precision punch if you're gonna break this thing. I am gonna break this thing. You can't I can break, break those cuffs. I, I can break these cuffs. <laughs> oh god! Uh, what was your, it? Dexterity? Oh, yep. Please tell me his hand is caught in it's the bear trap. Eight. Yeah, your hair, your hand is now caught in the bear trap. <laughs> you take. <laughs> I'm a you, folk hero. You take nine points of damage. Okay, well first, before before asshole decides to fucking fly off. <laughs> See, I'll show you what I can do. What? <laughs> okay. So, what did I fucking tell you, mate? Right. I don't care how fucking good you are at punching. All right, so I'm. You just punched the fucking trigger of the trap, you dummy. Ow! I'm going to cast hex on this man for for subdue damage. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the kangaroo or no, the on, uh, on the on the null on the null okay I'm going to cast hex on him <laughs> curse let, is a curse a visible creature you deal one d six necrotic damage to a successful attack choose one ability the creature has disadvantage on saving throws with that ability if he dies he can cause you can use a bonus action to transfer the curse onto a new target I'm not trying to kill him thus why I'm saying subdue I want to. I want to hex him to sleep. <laughs> okay, what's uh, what kind of saving throw does he get again? Uh, I'm gonna assume. Oh well, what's my spell score? Uh, a spell DC save of uh, 14. Okay, and what's uh, what stat does he save with? I think it's charisma. Let me double check. I'm sorry, because it doesn't say on here. Oh, then. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, then it just hits. Yeah, roll for damage. Oh, fuck. Okay. So that's... uh. 1d6 necrotic, I think you said? Yeah, 1d6 necrotic damage. Okay, go ahead and, and roll for it. One. That's fucking shit, man! You just... <laughs> Disadva <laughs> Dis disadvantage on dexterity. Okay. <laughs> But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I have to do. I can't surrender any harder than this, you guys. God damn it! Like, yeah, he—he he, <laughs> he is a defeated. Gnome. You will. We want information on your boss. All you had to do was fucking ask. We I mean, want information. <laughs> Silent. We will ask the questions. Yes, we will ask the questions. <laughs> okay, ask ask a question. I'll answer your fucking question. Okay. There is gold in this for you if you give us answers as well as compensation. Good cop, bad cop, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. Don your boss works for Don. What's his fucking name again? Don, Don Tigre. Tigre. Your boss works for Don Tigre, yes? Yes! Yes! Very good. Now, is there anything that. Uh, is there anything that Mr. Smiles has wronged Don Tigre on recently? <laughs> Not, not that I fucking know of, man. <laughs> is there anything that Mr. Uh, is there anything that Mr. Smiles does that irritates the Don? I don't fucking know the Don. I, I hunt kangaroos, man. Hmm. Look, look, you get, you get this idea of this totem pole, right? I'm the, I'm the lowest guy on it. I don't fucking know what they do. I pull you aside. Or, or well, I, I go to you. Yeah, he's still a tree. <laughs> That's right. Shit. Okay, so I can't just actively All right, talk. Well, then you don't well, know what they're talking about. Fine. <laughs> you just, just me mental into you then, I guess. <laughs> mental into you. What do you want to say? If we can get this guy to disappear, either just we don't have to kill him. If we can just really impress upon him that he doesn't want to fucking go back. Yeah. We can maybe find a way to pitch a story with the corpse of his buddy to say that for whatever reason, Don Tigre is out for Mr. Smiles and get them to fight each other. Very well, we can use that as well. Fine, <laughs> I'm going to go back into mentaling into his mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have, how much money do I have on me again? I think I had like a good chunk of cash. I think we all have 10. I have 10. 
No, I'm, fuck. Mm. Yeah, you you guys are from the old neighborhood. <laughs> Nobody has a whole lot of money in the old neighborhood. We got nothing but our you fists. Got, you oh, got 15 gold. Oh, no, there. But, oh, no but I, I do have... No, but I have this. Okay. <laughs> Put The orb hits the floor. Oh, no! Stare into the orb. <laughs> Think of your destination of running away from this problem. What does the and orb never tell? seeing Mr. It? Smiles again. What and never seeing Mr. Smiles again. This is the path you must take. Run and never come back. Okay, roll uh, intimidate with advantage. All right, so that's 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 19. And yeah, no, I'm taking the 19. Yeah, whatever the fuck you want, man. I'm out. I'm out. Never come back. Yeah, got it. Good. Agreed. Run. <laughs> he books it. <laughs> I mean, book, unveil, unveil. booking it at this point is like hobbling off because you guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get, he does not have much hit points left. Yeah, no, no, that's yeah, fine. That's yeah. fine. As long as he's not, as, as long as we can tell, he's never going to come back. He is, he is clearly moving as fast as he is capable. <laughs> well, now we have a body. If we take this course back to Mr. Smiles, how can we logic this into Don Tigre sends his, sends his greetings? <laughs> well, first off... Ow! <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, he oh. got his hand caught in a bear trap. We might want to help him. <laughs> Must we? I mean, he did get himself in it. <laughs> Mage hand. <laughs> Mage Hand uh, does not have the strength for this. Oh, oh damn. All right. Uh, well, you said we could do investigation to find, like, the well, you can... thing to open it. Uh, yeah, you can roll investigate to try and find another way to open it. All right. Mm. My investigate's yeah, not that I'm great. Yeah, I'm not a strength boy. I'm only a... I'm, I'll I am try a... investigating it. I'm a wisdom and that charisma didn't go boy. Well. Oh, wait. You said investigation? Yeah. Yeah, no. That's int. Eight which is, for me. Which is fucking weird. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? I'll just roll for it. Ah, uh, 19. Okay, yeah, you find a, a catch to one side that will just just open it right up with no effort whatsoever. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Where's the, where's the goal? <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, so he doesn't move too fast. Uh, he is, uh... Does he slurp on over? He slurps on over. Yeah. Okay. Did he see his master hurt his hand? <laughs> yeah, I need to know if he saw that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's roll perception for that. Uh, go ahead and roll stealth to try and keep it from him. <laughs> okay, I got 17 plus 6. Whatever that 23. is. 23. Wouldn't that be sleight of hand? Um... Eh, I said stealth. We'll stick okay, with fair stealth. Enough. It's fine. You uh, you kind of like keep your injured hand on the other side of your body from him, and and he just kind of slurps up like, oh, oh wow, Mister Punchy Face. I yeah, I heard all these crashings and 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 no laughings. What's going on? Well, you see, I put my other hand on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Cassius, this is what you can do. With punching. This can solve all your problems. Nothing ever goes wrong if you punch. Can I real quick just Excuse say... Excuse me! Shh! Can I real quick, out of game, just say, I feel like an idiot. I just now pieced together our, our clay golem, Cassius. Cassius Clay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an idiot that it took me this long to piece it together. But you, good shit. You had lots of druid shit to worry about. <laughs> So All right. I'll let you know you're appreciated. <laughs> what's, what's on this man's body? Uh, he has... Uh, he's got his hunting spear. He's got a longbow and some arrows. A uh, satchel with, like, a handful of copper pieces in it. He is he is not well off. Hmm. Can I'm, you? Also, I'm also now considering yeah. my Couple. initial plan of, you know... Trying to tell Smiles that Don Tigre did this. If somehow Don Tigre finds out who told Smiles this was what happened, <laughs> yeah, this was... does come back to us. Yeah. What are you talking about doing? Oh, hi. By the way, uh, my plan was... Sorry, I was preoccupied. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. We got we got Smiles uh, goons either dead or gone. We tell them that this was an uh, accident put into place by Don Tigre because he's uh, upset with him for something. 
Therefore, they are at each other's throats, and uh, they deal with each other, and uh, the whole uh, Mr. Smiles problem goes away. Oh, gee, mister, that sounds a whole lot like lying. I mean, it that's, might be. That's <sighs> Daddy tells me never to tell a lie. Well, well, and your father is a great man, he's Cassius. He's a good man. Well, well, you know what? You and me, we're going to walk over here, okay? I'm going to oh. show you a few things about this cool boxing glove. Oh, oh, knee! Yeah! And don't, wor and don't worry, we can meet you halfway on this. Okay. <laughs> now, to be fair... So now it's you two talking. I'm, yep, I'm over there yep. with him. So, to make sure that they don't find this out, that it was by magical means, why don't you turn back into a kangaroo, kick the body where the neck is, so it looks like it was a blown-off chunk. That's the first part of the plan. All right. So they can't actually use any investigation on us and pinpoint that it was magic that did this. <laughs> Two, we bring back the body so we can somehow be on good terms with him. Hey, we found this corpse. Are we friends? No, no. We got <laughs> because, no, because we'll be the first subject. We'll be the first suspects because he's the last person to see us go after them. So if we can come back and say, we tried to hunt down your men. They were finding kangaroos. And then, unfortunately, this is what became this is of what one. We found. Yes. I don't know. Did you make anyone mad? Any other mob bosses, perhaps, that you might have something against? <laughs> That's a good way to press information out of him, yes. And meanwhile, while you do that, I'll go to the order and do my original plan, and then we'll wait for the gnome to get here. Can you handle bringing back this body with that lie? It's a big body. It's going to be hard. Sure, we can figure this out. I mean, you have him. You have the muscle. <laughs> We have the combined muscle of not only him, but also a golem. I hope he's okay carrying a corpse. He seems like a young, impressionable boy. <laughs> All right, so we have a plan. You guys go back with the body and give the word of what happened while I go to the order and try to find something out. We'll just make sure Cassius is outside. I'll, I'll, I'll be the bearer of bad news on that one. Okay. With my... Oh, uh, not great persuasion. <laughs> All right, Cassius, you stay here. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Let, let the grown-ups talk for a sec. <laughs> I guess I walk back. All right. All right. What's the plan? Let's let's just detail the plan. We yeah, yeah. yeah. Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah, what's the plan? Yeah. yeah all, all that stuff. He's not carrying a dead body. <laughs> no way. Then that precious soul is not touching a speck of blood. Then you pick it up. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, strength check to see if you can lift the body. <laughs> I tried this once. <laughs> Break. Yo, not 20! 20, 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are able to, uh, you can't quite fireman's carry it because it is too large, but you can, like, drape one arm over your shoulder. You're pretty sure you'll I'm, be like, able to... them? Yeah, you can, like, drag it back to town. Okay. Um, it'll, it'll slow you down some, uh, but you should still be well, able to get back. as he's dragging it, I will go with our side of the plan of going back into my kangaroo form and mauling the body a bit to make it look as if this was a kangaroo attack. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm assuming since you know we're not in combat or anything, it's just yeah. Time you can. Passes, does this, this parse? Is this cool? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That works. It is. It is now. Uh, so the the bioluminescence of the mushrooms mm -hmm. is now dimming. Uh, you, Ricardo, know of course from your druid training that it's going to be pitch black here pretty soon. Guys, it's about to get dark. We uh, we might want to make uh, either camp or uh, faster work back to the back to the town. Let's make faster work. <laughs> You see, you're not the one having to carry this. Oh, uh, let's assist him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Uh, so traveling the way you are, dragging this body, you're going to be able to get back to town at like 3 a.m.-ish. That's fine. Great. And I, I do have the power to produce light if we need it. We have dark vision. Yeah, we all we do have dark vision. That's yeah, cool. within sixty feet, so you won't wouldn't be able to see anything like way off. But okay. But the uh, golem doesn't have it, right? Uh, no, you you would have to lead him by the hand. Yeah, by okay. his little clay golem hand. <laughs> okay, good. So my my boxing gloves are off. I am holding his hand okay. and the dead body in the other, <laughs> <laughs> and walking back. All right, and I think that's probably a good place to take our second break of the evening. Do what nature does. Read off some bit drops, and we will be back in just a few minutes. And we are back. All right, so you guys have managed to get back to town. Uh, back to the old neighborhood with this body in tow. It is now about uh, just a little past 3 a.m. You've been traveling and punching things all day. You have had no rest. <laughs> you are 
wiped. You are exhausted. Sounds about right. So we're gonna just walk in there with this dude? I'm tired, Let's man. Let's take him back to the dojo and just have a... Just put him, put him there. The you guys yeah. go. I'm gonna go consult with my order. That's fine with me. All right. <laughs> Gashies, come on, we're gonna show come on, you. We're, we're gonna you want to see the where dojo? Magic happens. Okay. The uh, the shrine of Deimos is is also in the old neighborhood. It's it's not far. You can get there without trouble. It's just like a little a little outdoor park with just a little public shrine where anybody can go and and pray to Deimos. There's a little uh, a little shack nearby, just like a little one room hut. Cool. Yeah, and it's it's the middle of the night. It is pitch black. It's deserted. Oh, piss. Well. There's got to be at least someone who works here. Is like the guy who runs the place. Yeah, he lives in the shack. You're familiar. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I mean, you don't know him personally because everybody else in your order you only know as Deimos. Yeah. But you know that there is a Deimos who lives here and tends tends the grounds. Okay, that's fair. Uh, just knock on his door, I guess. All right. Um, roll his perception here. There is no answer. You don't know if he's not home or if he is just dead asleep. <laughs> strength check. Yep, strength check me. 15. 15, all right. All right, you you hear some, like, rustling in there, and after a couple of minutes, you can hear somebody moving around in there, and after just a couple of minutes, it opens up. It's, uh... It's a fellow rat boy. He's got a Deimos mask on and a bathrobe. <laughs> what? Uh, what the fuck, man? I apologize, but this is a bit of an emergency. I seek shelter, and also, I require. Uh, th- there's there's a bit of an emergency that I that I need guidance with. Okay, I mean, I got I got an inflatable mattress if you want. Just fuck. What's what's the emergency? What's the big deal? The emergency is there's been a murder of Mr. Smiles's there's been a murder of Mr. Smiles's associate and I'm going to need to report this to the Don, but I need secrets. The the Don fucking Don who? What? The, oh, uh, secrets. Yeah, no, that's it's like all we do. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. I need secrets on Mr. Smiles. <laughs> secrets on, like, John, Johnny Smiles? Guy yes. owns the, okay, yeah. Um, hold on. He's like, like, shaking it off, like trying to shake himself awake. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me just commune with, uh, hold on. Just like, say the prayer with me. Let's commune with Deimos. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, religion. Like some, okay. The religion yeah. check with him. That's a nat 20. Okay. Yeah. All right, just chant it with me. Who's the leader of the cult? Who's made for you and me? D-I-A. Yeah, okay. M-O-S. Oh, yeah, this, okay, no. This I, is not canon. Okay, yeah, no, I fucking rem- <laughs> Yeah, this is why this is a story that a rat man is telling his rat <laughs> 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 Says, yeah, no, I remember now. Yeah, Johnny Smiles. Yeah, he, I got to tell you, man, he donates a lot to the Church of Deimos. Like, he's a big contributor. He's like a citizen in good standing, man. You're going to have a rough time getting any Deimos boys <laughs> to help you out with this one. Like, seriously, man, tell me. <laughs> like, give me a reason why we should help. Why... Like, why are you even involved in this, man? Just let him do his thing. It's for the punchy face dojo. I mean, those are good guys, I guess. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. All right, 16. My persuasion is six. Is it six? No, no, that's not right. It's four. So 20, okay. not natural 20. All right. He, he kind of, like, looks around. All right, man, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. He, he like, uh, he putters around for a second, brews himself a cup of coffee, like, swigs it down, like, probably burned his throat doing it. <laughs> yeah, he, he, and you see Damus just go. 
and he strips off his Deimos mask, and you see now that he's got the like the hood of his bathrobe off and the Deimos mask off, mm-hmm. one of his ears is like half bitten off. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, dude. Johnny smiles. That dude's fucked up, man. I do. He fucking bit half my ear off for no goddamn reason. Just to, like, prove he was tough when he showed up in the neighborhood. So you know what? Yeah, he gives a lot of money to Deimos. Fucking great. The Church of Deimos can't help you, man. But, but Templeton White? Nobody knows that Templeton White is a cleric of Deimos. So I will, if it's to fuck over Johnny Smiles, I am with you, man. All the way. Come, brother. Let's talk. Let's talk. And then we'll sleep for the night. (laughs) All right, so I'm going to get me some dirt on this boy. <laughs> yeah, so he so he tells you like he doesn't have he doesn't have any inside information. He can't really tell you anything other than Johnny Smiles is an asshole and whatever whatever help you need, he is down. All right. So, I'd like him to start creating some information about Smiles that he's like, yeah, he gives money to Deimos, but he's hiding something, something incriminating, and he's using the Don's money to do so. All right, yeah. Falsify information. I mean... Falsify info. I can try. I gotta be honest, man. Not a whole lot of people come around here asking for Johnny Smiles for, like, information on him. Like, yeah, I can spread that around. But we are info brokers. Yeah. I mean... Look, give me a couple of months. Yeah, I can I can spread that around. <laughs> hmm. We don't got months. But like like how much time do we got? Like what are we trying to do here? In 24 hours. <laughs> oh shit, shit bro, no. Nah. However, we are getting an invitation into the Don's wedding. Can you use that? I mean, if it'll if it'll help to have two Demoses there, like I'm with you. If that'll, like, give you some extra cred, like... Well, here's something. Uh, do you think the Don might uh, find it ill of one of his uh, workers to strike one of the church? You know, I mean, we can ask him. It is the day of his daughter's wedding, and if my movie references are right, <laughs> we could use that. So having you along with me might be nice. Just make sure you wear the mask and don't show your ears. All right. Yeah, I'm down. 100% down. Awesome. So we're going to be going there, spreading the word, and then when the time comes, we head up to the Don and give him some bad info. All right. Yeah, he's, he's, he is with you on this plan. All right. So plead our case. <laughs> All right, boys, you're up. All righty. So yeah, any anything else you wanted, you guys wanted to do, or did you just, just want to take a I rest? Think we I think we're just taking a rest. Okay, go ahead with and, the uh, body. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one's gonna be there to accept it at three a.m. I run it. Yep. It's my dojo. <laughs> it's for the kids. Okay, what am I doing? All right, so so you take a long rest. You're back up to full health. All your all your like once a day powers and your spell slots and everything are replenished. You are. Is my arm still damaged? No, that's... <sighs> that was going to be a character flaw thing. Like, maybe <laughs> punching isn't the answer, oh but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it isn't when the enemy is bear traps. <laughs> <laughs> and you've learned that, and that's a lesson that you'll... I no- did. I have learned this. Yep. For the rest of your life. Uh, <laughs> but okay, do you, do you guys all uh, meet back up in the morning then? Is that the plan? I believe so. Yep. Okay. So it's, it's the morning. It's now been 24 hours uh, since... Uh, since uh, Johnny Smiles gave you his ultimatum, uh, you've got what's what's your game plan now? Are you going straight to the uh, straight to Don Tigres? All right, so I I want to keep I want to keep because uh, we still got to are we gonna drop this body off? <laughs> oh yeah, we should probably go ahead and bring that uh, to Mr. Smiles to Johnny. Smiles. Yeah, first we gotta do, first we have to do this, Ricky. We have to do this. We have to go take, take this body. Could smelling up the dojo. You're right. And Cassius is complaining. No, you don't even know how bad Cassius I, smells I mean, at I, night. I mean, I have the power to make some. <laughs> Did you know Cassius has sleep apnea? I have the power to make some like flowers. I didn't know golems could have that. 
I can, uh, you know. It's, it's all right. It smells so bad. It's all right, though, because I don't really have to breathe, so it doesn't hurt me none. I can instantly make a flower blossom if that would uh, make the <laughs> dojo smell better. You know what? Could you, yeah, could you put one by the entrance? Hey, bada like... bing! <laughs> <laughs> That's my enchantment for uh, more uh, flowers. <laughs> so there's, there's a couple of those, uh, like, flower boxes on the railing outside. Yeah. They just, <laughs> Yeah, the do- looking, the dojo looks nice. real nice. <laughs> Good with the yeah I, yeah, I like that. That looks nice. You're uh, very welcome. <laughs> thank you. All right, so Cassius. Yes, Mr. Billy. I'm gonna need you to be a big boy okay. and stay here till we come back. Okay. All right. All yeah, right? I can do that. We. You see that? There's a little punching bag over there. Yeah. Just go. Go give her a few hits. Oh Just boy! Go, go oh try boy! It. You can. You go nuts. You and sh- we'll be back. He slurps on over. He starts punching it. It sort of makes like a. <laughs> Every time. Keep going. You'll yeah, get it. Yeah. I'm real good at this. I'm going to be just as good a puncher as my big brothers. Yes, you will. We'll you be know, back. He's, he's got the form, just not the not the hands. Not Maybe the... if we could, like, affix some rocks to the end of his arm go- goop, you know, he'll he'll actually be a good punching <laughs> Or punchin nails. Boy. I, I'm, I'm thinking we'll, we'll weaponize the kid at some point. Can we just get <laughs> this body out of here? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You know, task at hand. Sorry. <laughs> Get All right. Sidetracked. We'll be back. Close the close the dojo doors okay. and take this. All right, so <laughs> so I'm dragging the body and we're going to whatever the 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 grassy knoll. S- smiles. Yep. Yeah. All right. The grassy knoll is just just opening up. Uh, <laughs> this is right from business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lee, you know the proprietor who you the butcher who you met yesterday. He's just mm-hmm. like unlocking the front doors, setting okay. out the sign, advertising so the day's special. Aren't here yet. Other than Lee, yeah, other yeah. Than Lee is the, the like. Like, people are milling about, like, out in the street. People are starting to, like, leave for work and stuff. Uh, right, well, if, yeah. If you, uh, if you want to try and get this corpse across the street, you're going to need to roll some good stealth. We need to, okay. Ricky. Would it, would it, would it be, Billy, would it be smarter to invite them over to the dojo <laughs> to see the corpse rather than bring a dead body to a restaurant? I think if we invite, I think if we invite them over, that's saying... That's a really intimidating message. Like, I don't know, that's real creepy to me. I feel like if we say, oh my, oh, look at this. This is terrible. Please do something. I don't know. Hmm. I think they're all bad. <laughs> I'm kind of rolling with this. This does seem like a rough plan. What if we put them in a cart directions? and we're delivering meat to the butcher? Ooh. Why <laughs> you a cart then, boys? This is a crafty plan. Have we a cart to use in this dojo? Hey, I've got, uh... So, so do we? T- <laughs> <laughs> Templeton, I'm assuming you've met up with them at this point. Let's just yeah. say, yeah, Templeton pipes up. Yeah, I mean, I got this wheelbarrow I use for gardening Perfect. around the. Great, we're yeah. gonna need it. Can we borrow real quick, like? Yeah, you just, it's his shrine's <laughs> just down the street. He just runs over and brings it back real quick. Okay, so now we just gotta cover him in something. All right, well, I. Yeah. Uh, Sure yeah. we have I got bed rolls. Yeah, I mean you got bed rolls. You got, you got bed blankets. rolls with all this yeah. stuff on them. Okay, all right, you get it across the street. It's, okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> cool, awesome. You have successfully solved the problem, <laughs> the puzzle. You've solved my corpse <laughs> puzzle. <laughs> Terrific. Well, a now, puzzle now I'm now sure get, you didn't <laughs> expect to find. Now let's get now let's get the worst part out of the way. Go, go right up to the knoll. We have a situation. Okay. I mean, every day's a situation, man. I don't know what. The, we what? Have, no, Abe, we have a really dire one. Remember the boys that your friend, uh, that uh, Mr. Smiles brought out to get kangaroo meat? Yeah, yeah, my brothers, Harvey and, Wa- and Oswald. Yeah, yeah. We found them like this. Like what? Uh, this is actually very difficult to explain out in the open. Let's get inside and we can show you. Unfortunately, it's very bad news. Uh, 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 uh roll persuasion. <laughs> Fucking hell. You need to take this wheelbarrow in your restaurant. <laughs> I'm not being a shit. <laughs> I'm not being a shit. I rolled an at 20. Oh my I'm God. not like the fourth I, one. I, Jeez. No, no. You know what? I'm putting these dice away. I'm going to use a different one. <laughs> Just to be fair, because that's bullshit. The old honey 20 badger <laughs> over here. No, no, no. Listen, I'm not trying to be a dick. I don't. I, I want to fail. I want to actively fail. <laughs> Already strike me down. Money, money. He, I keep rolling 20. <laughs> he ushers you in like, all right, fucking all right, man. You're, you're in good with the boss. You're in good with me. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. Bring him in. I, I really am very sorry for what we're about to show you. We found him like this. Ah! Shh. Roll, uh, roll, uh, deception. All of us? <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. Just whoever has the. Okay, uh... see, much better. My deception 
Nine. I got a plus six with deception. What'd you fucking roll for me? You have real. You, you made these sheets. My you deception have, is five. You have real good three. charisma. I have fifteen. Minus three. I cannot tell a lie. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, he. He's he's buying it. Like who fucking did this, man? Who fucking? Where'd you Check. find him? We do, no, he. We found him by a trap. He. We. We assume he was hunting kangaroos, and this became of him. The fucking roos got him. I'm gonna kill all those fucking roos, man. I'm gonna kill every roo I find. Well, before you do, we would <laughs> oh, like oh. you to at least tell your boss what happened here. Well, he's gonna he's gonna want to know why I'm out getting room meat when I'm supposed to watch. Supposed Exa to be watching the fucking restaurant. Exactly. So why don't you convene with him while while this is happening, okay? Because this seems like it's a very important situation. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool. Guys, I gotta lock up so I can go see the boss. Can you just just? We'll leave. Don't worry. We're okay. Out. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. So we. And he, as we leave, mm -hmm. and now we bought ourselves some time. <laughs> <laughs> you did. So, how are we playing this? To the wedding? Well, I have then explained my plan with uh, Templeton here. Uh, as it appears, I kind of like lift his mask and show the bite mark. Mm -hmm. Now, why would a humble mafia establishment man attack one of the cloth? That doesn't seem like good practice or business for anyone who works for the Don. Hmm. And that's our leverage. Especially when we need it. For well, if we need it for any situation, that that Mr. Smiles might not be such a good egg to have around. He works for the mob. He, yes, he works. I'm for sure the they rough up whoever they need to. Right. The mob is also. Uh, I feel like I have heard Clean rumor that they can be they, they can be superstitious and they uh, you know people of people of the cloth they uh, they don't like having that bad juju on. Especially especially a cloth that likes to trade in secrets. That uh, yeah, that's probably not good for business having the old info brokers uh, you know Get getting you. beat up by your gloves. No, I want to beat him up with my gloves. <laughs> we'll get our chance. We're getting ourselves an excuse from the Tigre, the Don, uh, to uh, you know, rough up smiles with little to no intervention. Would you like, uh, I Billy, hope that's Billy, how it happens. Billy, Billy, would you like to punch a shark? That's what we're aiming for here. <laughs> the goal here is so you can punch a shark with impunity. <laughs> <laughs> So I can just, punch just, something and nothing bad will happen. Just, just That's think, the goal. and just think, okay. this will be written in legend for you. Remember, uh, remember that mm. time uh, last night when you punched a bear trap and it hurt. Think I mean, of that, yeah. but times a lot more, and that's what happens if we go fists of flying at uh, the old Don Tigre. I know it would, it would help out the dojo. It would get people in. Plus, who knows? Maybe we can convince him he hates this guy so much he might like. Be favorable to us and, once we get through. And, true, and, true. and if we do this, as much as I don't like using my own religion to bolster that who I don't think really necessarily necessarily deserve it, will bolster the claim that you punched a shark and make your word legend throughout rumor. Ooh. That shark's I like, like this. roughly twice your size. <laughs> I can take him. I know I can take him. We all if you want to let me, I know. If you want to let me punch him in that room, I would. I would have done it. So let's. I like this. Let's do let's it. Let's go. I'm in. All right. I'm in. To the wedding. <laughs> Wahoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys uh, travel uptown. This is the like the nice, the upscale, the rich part of town. Pass by the bank, and just like uh, just like Chomsky said, like just up the hill from the bank, like looks like one of the nicer the nicer homesteads in this the nice part of town uh it's got like a grand entrance way there's all kinds of people mostly drow uh like milling about some of them going in there's a doorman uh like, i'm bad with my DD races what's drow uh drow is dark elf okay yeah yeah they're the they're the less savory type of elf that live in the underdark okay yeah uh so yeah there's like a grand entrance and everybody roll me perception Dice. <laughs> All right, five. So, uh, thirteen. Nat one. <laughs> Perception. I'm, I'm okay. Not well, uh, you Billy notice uh, both that 
Uh, in the in the crowd of people waiting to get in, uh, Chomsky is there. You also notice that there's a, a smaller group of people, this mostly rat folk, some goblins, uh, going around to the side where there's a side entrance. Ooh. There's a side entrance over there with a bunch of rat folk. I don't see it! But, hey, <laughs> Ricky, it's o- it's over here. Look, oh! The other oh, way. Other that, way, yeah. Ah, the the okay. wedding, look at that oh, way. I thought it was that, okay. Yeah, it's that way. So there's a, there's a side entrance that a bunch of the rats are funneling into, but there's also some gnomes hanging out. Chompsies go over there. We can stop in for a good word, but I'm, I'm curious what the side entrance is. I think we can go on that way. Mm. What Dam- are you thinking? Damos, you know anything about the side entrance? Would I roll knowledge to know so? Uh, you don't, this is not a part of town that you're familiar okay, with. Okay, fair enough. So. Uh, I got nothing. However, that is something that looks like we should look into it. However, we should also, uh... uh actually, Templeton chimes in like, Yeah, guys, that's, I mean, that's standard. That's just the servant's entrance. It's where, like, the kitchen staff and guys go. Oh, all right. Well, I don't think that really... We're not kitchen service. We, we're not Who staff. says we're not? I don't think we need that to get in. We, Billy, we've been Billy, invited by a place, and we, we, we probably should just go with the option where everyone accepts us being here. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think. I mean, at, at this point, Chomsky sees you and says, "Oh, oh, thanks. I was. Oh, I'm glad you guys are here. I didn't oh, want to just go. be milling yeah. about here all day. Do you want to get in or what?" Right. And, For sure. Uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we want in. Let's we go. We want in, but uh, I also would like to convene with him my plan of using my buddy here as a scapegoat to try and see if we can turn the Don to Do our you side. Turn the plan? Well, no. This is Chop. No, Chopsky just got here, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, look, the the Don. He likes to keep everything on the up and up. He likes to keep friendly relations with the community. That's just good business. So yeah, if, if <laughs> yes, if your okay. boy's been been if he's been going around chomping ears, like that's not okay. Mm. And we could also use the fact that we brought back a body of one of his employees that he sent off without any good standing of defense. One of mm. one of Don Tigre's employees? Ye- no, one of uh one of Smiles' employees. Smiles is sending his boys basically out to die. Yeah. I I mean, I guess. <laughs> he he seems to think that this is gonna be less of an issue for him. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well we have we have the fact that he bit a member of the cloth that trades secrets. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, so uh Chomsky gets you up to the door. The uh, the drow doorman is is he's like a like really nice buttoned up. Uh, you loser. Yes, like yes, all right. Yeah, yes, go right. Oh yes, you've been expected. Oh wonderful. Ah, oh, and Mr. Chomsky. Yes, wonderful to see an artificer of such note. And uh, oh my, who are y'all? Mm, I'm going to have to see your invitation, Mr. Chomsky. Chomsky reaches into his waistcoat and hands over the invitation and says, Oh, yes, yes, I mean, of, of course, you are more than welcome, Mr. Chomsky. However, this invitation does not include a plus one, let alone a plus four. Uh, of such a, a shabby sort, shall we say. You're speaking to two members of the cloth, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, the peasant religion, yes, wonderful. Go along and preach to your little ratmen friends. It's perhaps some you might convert some of the goblins, that's fine. Eldritch blast behind the hands. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh, sorry, sway, sir. Sway, I, me, sway me to do something before I roll a fucking intimidation check. I run up and go, I'm sorry, sir. Rolling persuasion. <laughs> hey, uh, that is a 17. I'm sorry, we're part of the wait staff. Uh, I thought this was where we came in. Oh, oh, of, of course, of course. Yes, the side entrance. That's what temporary, yes, we have a lot of temporary staff here <laughs> due I to the. I apologize uh, so much, uh, 
your, your grace, your, uh, your, your I'm beautifulness. Just, just, I'm sorry, uh, you know, you know us dirty peasant folk. I don't know how to address you rich guys. Just, oh, I see. Yes, I'm, I am merely the highest class of servant. Sir will be perfectly fine. <laughs> Thank you very Two much, palms sir. palms behind the hand. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's, sir. It's fine. But, 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 but I did it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, dearest apologies. However, uh, Mr. Chomps, yes, yes, come on in. And we do have, we do have a bit of a wait. So if, if you fellows could just uh, go Go along to the servants' entrance and the uh, look for a goblin. He's the head waiter. He will uh, tell you where to go from here. Of course, thank you. And Chomsky just kind of like shrugs at you, like eh, yeah. and just goes on in. Just meet us inside. <laughs> you mind to him? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Yeah, you can meet us inside. Yeah. Alrighty. So as I said, who says we're not? Okay, so maybe things didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. It did seem a little too convenient that someone could just bring in four guys from the street. But, uh, you know, here we are. <laughs> so we've got to live and learn, they say, in the old druid schools. So how can I... <gasps> I've always wanted to punch up a dish. Oh, <laughs> no, Billy, we're not actually... Kitchen folk, we we're gonna go so in. So I can't like punch. We're the food? using that entrance, but the best the best case scenario uh. is we are not even near the food. <laughs> oh, all right. Davos, well. you got anything to say over there? <laughs> that pun this. was too strong. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I mean, your hands are pretty powerful, but I don't know they could, uh, you know. Probably tenderize a steak with them, I guess. I could, I could tenderize a whole herd. <laughs> anyway, then we make our way to the entrance. <laughs> All right, so let's okay. just fucking go in, I guess. So there's there's a goblin head waiter there. Like, ah, I'm sorry, I do not recognize you boys. What's your what's your deal here? Uh, we are late additions to the kitchen staff. We were brought by our artificer friend uh, Chom Chomsky, Mr. Chomsky. He, yeah. he brought us. He, he, uh... Chomsky. Okay, go ahead and roll either persuasion or deception, whatever's higher, and take advantage. Not that one. Uh, 17. Oh. oh, okay, great. Yeah, we've been we've been needing some more kitchen staff. Come on in, come on in. Great. Just, just round the corner, kitchen's right in there. And uh, you know what? The meat's really tough. If you could just tenderize some of that meat for us real quick... It'd, it'd be a big help. Thanks. Don't worry, I'm on it. Okay, great. That Fuck. sounds great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> There's Damos just like, if you like, you see the mask. <laughs> <sighs> I just give him a little. Okay, so in in the kitchen. There's there's another goblin with a chef's hat. Like yes, yes, come on in. Uh, you you the meat tenderizer. Yes, here's yeah. all the meat. Go ahead and punch the meat. Punch the meat until it's a good and tender. I'm glad that they were assuming that to tenderize it, he would punch it. There's no. I'm a dumb rat. I can't use tools. There's okay. No... <laughs> I'm punching the meat. Okay, strength check. I want him to. I know. I'm gonna hopefully obliterate. Oh, please it. beef this. Just break the table. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right, that is a 19. Ah, oh, you're such a good meat, uh, you're such a good meat puncher. Well, okay, that's that's a great. Uh, as you can see, and he like points, there are just racks and racks and racks of hanging meat. Like, okay, the perfect. You just keep on doing that for eight hours, and then uh, then you get to your pay. All right, sounds good. And rolling stealth, 19, <laughs> 19. Uh, no, that's a 23. 23. Okay. Yeah, he. You're able to slink away. He cannot see what you're doing. He is just ecstatic to have such a good tenderizer of meat products. Uh, great, oh. Billy. You can beat your meat all day in here. No one's gonna be upset. <laughs> I love punching. <laughs> uh, Templeton is also able to sneak off along with you. Good. I'm just here singing the praises of. All right. So let's <laughs> let's see if. Uh, hmm. Oh wait a minute. Okay. So. I know this is gonna be really fucking hard, but I'm gonna try and mimic one of the chefs to try and like pull him back, like in my mind, N like to him. I guess I'm gonna roll deception for this or something, but like, chef, we need you back. Something happened. Okay, yeah, roll deception with disadvantage. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. <laughs> I'm taking that eighteen. 
Well, it's disadvantage, so what's yep. the lowest? That, that, yeah, that oh, is the lowest. 18 is the lowest. Yeah, oh, okay. Lowest. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It seems I'm, I'm needed in the in the main kitchen. You just keep a punching. I uh, will. All right, great, great. You Thank take you care so much. Of it. Yeah, he, he bustles off into the main kitchen to see what the problem is. This is our chance. Yep, let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the... Uh, so there's a so the the meat the meat freezer the meat locker is just just a room with one entrance. It's the one that he brought you in with mm-hmm. in through. So the only way out is back the way that he just left. <laughs> okay, well, uh, and and that way is is the kitchen. It's like a bustling hub of activity. Uh, and then you were able to actually everybody roll perception. Eighteen. 21, 22. Okay, yeah. As yeah, as you were bustled through the kitchen, you did see where the wait staff is going out towards the main party where all of the like rich folk are are milling about. Well, now we got this chance. Let's fucking go. How, the worst case scenario is that if he catches you, say you had a question and go back to work and we'll come back to you. As long as we get out, that's fine. You okay. got it. I'll follow your lead. Right. Let's go with that. I'm okay with this. Yeah. Nobody in the kitchen is paying any attention to you. They are all busy as hell, just rushing Perfect. around. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So you're going out Actually, into oh, the... Wait, before oh. we go, before okay. we go, guys, grab a dish of hors d'oeuvres. Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> this this looks like something people would eat, right? <laughs> I don't know. My my rat tongue doesn't th- find this very appetizing. There's, there's, no, ch- there's no cheese. What the fuck? Say, these aren't wads of cheese or <laughs> thrown away garbage. I assume. <laughs> Thanks, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Some people eat this. All right, you are uh, you are able to like a fine meal for a whore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, there's there's some plates of hors d'oeuvres waiting to go out. You're able to to like grab up a platter each. Uh, go ahead and and roll deception if you want to go out into the <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 6, uh, that's a 19. I got a 19. For what? For deception. Deception? Okay, yeah. I got 20. Okay. Four. Yeah, you... <laughs> oh, no. Go! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, I'm so clumsy being a fancy waiter and all. Well, I probably wouldn't sound like that if that's what I was. <laughs> okay, you you two and... and oh, actually, I should roll for Templeton, too. Okay, yeah, you two and Templeton are, like, blending in surprisingly well, considering that you are not d- dressed as waiters, but you're able to, like... <laughs> You you are you are able to like notice when somebody is turning towards you and kind of like disappear behind another group of people and make your way across. There's like a grand staircase leading up, uh, but is uh what's his face in there? Uh, the gentleman we came in with the the half the dwar- halfling Chomsky the, the Chomsky Chomsky right? Uh, roll perception. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, you can see Chomsky uh, milling about at the base of the grand stair- staircase, but you, Grant, <laughs> you've oh, got whoops. you've got a bunch of these fine folks. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, I never. Oh, do you see what he's wearing? Is this is this the sort of person that Don Tigre allows in his waitstaff? Hi there, uh, Miss Mister Mister. <laughs> Smile, Don. Uh, sends his regards. I'm his, I'm one of his favorite wait staff, and he sent me specifically to be here at this wedding. Can I offer you uh, trash uh, in these trying times? <laughs> Can I, I offer you a boiled egg? You s- <laughs> you see a couple of actual wait staff goblins, like dressed as waiters, like heading towards you. They are they are scandalized. I am so so sorry. Uh, please, if you have any complaints, take it to the grassy knoll down the street. <laughs> They, they reach you, and they're, like, grabbing you by either elbow, like, no, 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 not okay. Come here, come here, come here. They are trying to, like, usher you back into the kitchen. All right, so I guess it's just you and I, me, though. All right, I'm going to spend this time to try and make as big a distraction as I can. Okay. I, I, have been, I have been caught. I might as well just run with it. <laughs> oh, please, please, I'm sorry. I'll, here, what, what do I need to do? What, what can I, uh, what can I, how can I assist you? I'm sorry. Making okay. noise as they're dragging me away. All right, you guys, you uh, you two and Templeton are able to get to the base of the stairs where Chomsky is. Chomsky's just, like, shaking his head like, all right, I guess we're doing it this way. What the? Okay, great. Look, Don Tigre's upstairs. He's doing private audiences. 
you got, okay, great. Yeah, come with me. Just follow my lead. We're, we're going to try this. God help us. Uh, Trust me, I'm with you on that. <laughs> he, so he gets you to the, uh, to the top of the grand staircase where there's a couple of, like, uh, heavily armed, like, really muscle-bound drow guys. They look like security. Uh, security detailed drow. Huh. <laughs> this is a story. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Chomsky gets you up there, uh, and he says to the drow, like, Hey, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Invite, invite. Uh, yeah, we got... Uh, God, I'm fucking up my accents again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's fine. fine. Don't worry. Yeah. Whatever it feels like can, in the moment. Can we just get these boys on in here <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll deception with advantage? That was Ugh, that's, 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 that's bumpkiss. Oh, wow. Okay. Either I, one. Uh, mine's the same result both times. 13. That seems unlikely. Oh, okay, you know what? <sighs> Fucking hell. All right, so deception. Oh, I got a plus six. So I believe. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm mental math in my mind. No worries. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. The uh, the security guards look real suspicious, but they're they're also like one of them's got his eyes down on on what's <laughs> happening with uh, with Ricky. <laughs> I'M A WAITER! So, <laughs> so they kind of like look at each other like and confer for a second like, okay. Uh, one of them's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll show you in, I guess. And he he comes with you and shows you uh, into the Don's private chambers. So it, this is like a really nice office, uh, like mahogany desks, uh, and the like unmistakably Don Tigre because he is just the fanciest man in the room. He is this drow. He is sitting super relaxed behind this desk. He's wearing like an evening, uh, like an evening jacket in the finest tiger skin. Yo. I thought a tiger thing would be popping up. <laughs> yeah, that <but> Tigre. <laughs> and and it, when he sees Chomsky coming in, ah, wonderful, Don, Ah, oh, Mr. Chomsky, yes, come in, come in. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome to my home on this, the day of my daughter's wedding. So wonderful to have you here. Ah, oh, and you brought the hors d'oeuvres. Ah, oh, wonderful, thank you so much. What, yeah. what can I do for you today, my, my wonderful friend, Mr. Chomsky? And Chomsky says, well, actually, I, I don't, I'm pretty self-sufficient. I just wanted to pay my respects and also to introduce my friends, Deimos, uh, Deimos, and Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Billy. Of the prestigious Punchy Face Estate. Oh, yes, the Punchy Faces, yes. I've heard, I've heard tell of the Punchy Faces. Very good at, um, very good. What, what would you say your family specialty is? We, we help with, uh, uh, we do some uh, basket weaving. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. The, the arts and crafts, that is, yeah. that is wonderful. Okay, and then well. they punch the arts and crafts. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, sometimes the art's not so good with the crafts, and it takes some punching. I <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so wonderful of you to come. Uh, you know, my, I, I got to tell you, my, my staff, they insist on a certain amount of propriety. Uh, they, they like to only let certain kinds of people in. But Underst me, Understandable. I am a man of the people. I'm so, <laughs> just so pleased you were able to come Another here. Dish crashes in the distance. <laughs> I'm part of this! <laughs> I work here! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, you can see sometimes some undesirable types, they get in. Oh, you I, can... I, I know, and there's, um, that's, that's uh, kind of what we're here to talk about a bit. Uh, we, have, we have something important we'd like to discuss with you, and thanks to our good friend Chomsky. Th thank you so much for introducing us. Uh, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and talk to uh, Tigray for a second. Uh, Demos, would you like to tell him? Yes, unfortunately... Uh, one of your associates seems to actually be going against your policy for one of the, uh, for being one of the people, and it has come to the cloth of Deimos' attention that we would like to bring it up to you. Oh, this is this is very surprising to me. I, I try so very much to be on good terms with with all of the clergies. Yes, well, unfortunately, my friend here. This is very sacrilege for our religion, but he is going to show you his face to show you how dire this is. Please, brother, show yourself. Templeton, you know, takes off his hood and his mask. This, and this one, oh, I'm sorry, continue, I'm sorry. 
And yeah, there's like an instant look of recognition uh, in Don Tigre's eyes. Like, yes, yes, yes. I have heard of this regrettable incident. It is why my organization, to make things right, we, we make such generous donation to the church. It was my understanding that we had reached that we had reached an agreement and that everything was okay. Well, you see, that is, we we would like to believe that. And yes, un, you do know that the work of Deimos is one of information, and we would like to keep our standings with you as polite and as professional as possible. But then, Billy and us, we have come to the understanding that Mr. Smiles has also made us aware that he wanted us to go out for. Uh, for, uh, he he sent his st- he wanted us to go out to uh, to actually get Mr. Chopsky to come here as well. But we also found that he uh, is not respecting the uh, capabilities and the mortality of his crew because unfortunately we had to bring back his uh, employees uh, in shreds. They were and, and I understand how that sounds, but not of our doing. We actually found one of his men dead trying to hunt down kangaroos. And He's working his employees to the bone. He's killing men that are employed by him and therefore you. Uh, go ahead and roll deception. Uh, 16. Would you like me to roll as well? Uh, no, that's good enough. Okay. Jess, Jess, I, I tell you what, I'm going to take you into my confidence. These Johnny Smiles, he's not a man that I like. On a personal level, I do not, I do not think he is a good, uh, a, a positive force in my organization. But, see, here's the thing. It, it was my father, in his time as Don, before he passed, who brought Mr. Smiles into the organization. It would be a very bad look for me if, upon taking power in my own right as Don, I just start dismissing people for no cause. So my, what I have been trying to do, I let, I let Johnny Smiles run around, he do his little thing, like, let us be frank here, as gentlemen of business. Johnny Smiles is an idiot. It does not take any special effort of mine to, to let him make a fool of himself. I let out enough rope, eventually he will hang himself. And all will be well. Well done. Uh, we, are one, uh, we are those who keep that in secret. How would you like us to take care of that for you, in secret? Ah, oh, in what way? How, how would you accomplish this for the dawn? Basket weaving. I'm... The punchy face estate will do what they do best. He shall punch, and I will burn the evidence away. Hold an eldritch blast in my hand. Mm. And we, it will come at no cost for your organization, and we will return to good standings once more. And if you, I do say so myself... He is kind of the odd duck, considering that you brought in a surface dweller into our affairs. May I ask you a question, sir? Aye. What is is this question? I I, I understand why why the Demos peoples, uh, because of your poor friend uh, here and his ear, I understand why you might have such a grudge against against Johnny Smiles. But you, sir, Mr. Punchyface, what is your business with Mr. Smiles? What is your stake in this matter? My father, Pappy Punchy Face. I'm certain you've heard of him. Yes, yes. In his will, he left the dojo. Our Punchy Face dojo, which has been helping the community, which I know you love, for years, decades. Yes. Millennia. <laughs> Eons! <laughs> as, as far as I know, yes. <laughs> Might as well. And... If you want to keep this community running and thriving and giving the kids something to do, productive, that's not going to happen anymore because Johnny wants to repossess the dojo because somehow he has the deed and claims that we are in debt to him. And he claims to actually make it more into a meat locker. And let's be frank here. If he is as much of a fumble as he is with his employees, the service of meat he'll bring in will just be tainted. Jess, Jess. Uh, go ahead and roll persuasion with advantage. Fuck yeah. <laughs> For him? Uh, actually, both of you. Okay. Yeah. So that was a 17. So I'll take the 17. Okay. Oh, not great. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with the 17. Sure. That's fine. 
Let me tell you something, Mr. Mr. Demos, Mr. Punchy Face. Other this than Demos. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I, I also said like the the this one known as Templeton. So like yeah. I said, yeah. the sacrilegious mm-hmm. like of, mm-hmm. oh shit, we had to reveal ourselves. Let me tell you something about the code of the Tigre family. This this matter of this debt. This is this is a lawful debt. I cannot forgive this debt. Because then every Every rap person who owes a debt to someone in my employ would be coming to me all day, every day, saying, Please, please, Don Tigre, forgive the debt. And I would have no more debt, and I would have no more wonderful house. However, accepting the deed to your family home as collateral for this debt, this was foolish of Mr. Smiles, for we hold nothing so sacred as the right of a man to defend his home. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Don. This means so much to me. This dojo is all I have. And I, wa- I need it. And I want you to have it. So let me tell you what, what can happen. Mr. Smiles, he shows up with his employees to collect this debt to your home. If you, as a man of great punchings, if you send him home with a bloody nose, what does he do? He comes to me, he says, Don Tigre, Don Tigre, a little rat man punch me in the nose. Will you not help me and take vengeance upon this rat man? And I will say to him, Johnny Smiles, if you cannot handle a little rat man, what place have you in the great Tigre family? And I toss him out on his ear. Oh, yes. In, in, in this way, this can, be, this can be a win for everyone. You get to keep your dojo. I get to kick this troublemaker out of my house. No vengeance will be taken upon you, and there will be no stain upon your honor. And you give your fellow compatriots downstairs a spectacle. Worthy of that of the Don Tigre name. Ah, uh, the, the, the people downstairs, I gotta tell you, they are not so much for the blood sports. I do not think they would have any particular uh, interest uh, uh, in uh, this. Ah, 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 sir. Yes. You offend, yeah. you offend him. This is a gentleman's duel. <laughs> this is about honor. A gentleman's honor. A gentleman's duel, you say. I, I, I tell you, if you, you, what you are, what you are suggesting is pugilism. The in the purest form. A boxing match. Yes. I would have no objection to such a thing. However, such a challenge must be accepted by Johnny Smiles. <laughs> mm. And I got to tell you, for him, there is no profit in this. It, for him, it would be better just to show up with his employees and just take what is his. Now, if you can defend against this with you and your friends, then wonderful. Don, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for listening, for hearing us out. Thank you for helping defend my honor. I pray you have a wonderful time at your daughter's wedding. Wonderful. Well, I, I, I hope deep in my heart that this matter turns out, turns out well for you and you are able to keep your family home. I would, nothing would please me so much. Thank you. Thank you. He, he holds out his hand with his ring for you to kiss it. <laughs> Dude, come on, do it. I, I'll, I'll kiss his ring. Ah, wonderful. You come to my home, you wish me well on my daughter's wedding, and you show the proper respect to the dawn. I tell you what. He claps his hands. Oh, boy. <laughs> and, and security, the security guy shows up. The dawn whispers into his ear. Yes, yes. Discreetly, discreetly. The, the security guy bustles off and he comes back with another drow. This is more of like a raggedy looking drow. Uh-huh. He is not like buttoned up like high class mob security. He's he's like a, a, a below the table type of g- looking type of guy. This is a dear associate. He is, he is not known generally, but he has been known to, to take care of certain problems for me. <laughs> he will accompany you. Should, should Johnny Smiles agree to your duel, wonderful, is it is a one-on-one fight. If he does not, if it comes to, to a clashing of fists between all of your friends and all of Johnny Smiles' employees, my friend here will stand with you. Dope. Thank you. <laughs> Demo's official statement. Dope. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Word from the church. <laughs> yeah, word from word from the clergy. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> yeah. So now here's the thing: is that 
Okay, so I guess we're gonna go back outside and tell, uh... Oh, wait, no, what, what's his face? Uh, oh my god, I keep forgetting his name. Chopsky? Chopsky was there the whole time, yeah? Yeah. So, let's go outside. So, Chopsky, would you like to take some revenge on him? Oh, boys, I'm sure that you can do wonderfully, and I'm sure that has, has Cassius been behaving himself? He's been wonderful. He's Your son will be one of the best pugilists, punchists, <laughs> puncher However, I've ever known. I am rather interested in seeing how his big brothers fare if you brought them along. Ooh, that now that would be bad for business. Fair enough. I gotta I gotta tell you. But but I'll, I'll tell you something about Cassius. He's not he's not as, as mighty a puncher as you, sir. However, he's he's hardy. That clay that he's made out of, he he can take he can take a licking and keep on ticking. He's a tank. He's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure he can be a great help to you. That's. I, I regret that that's all I can offer you, but I'm sure he will be a great help. If you, Thank give, you. If you give us your blessing that we can, uh, for, uh, we could use him in our in our need, then by all means, that is the best we can uh, ask from you. Oh, he he took a, a great shine to you, and and like I say, like worst worst case scenario, he's made of clay. Okay, boys. If. <laughs> If if by some chance he gets reduced back to just a little lump of clay, just just bring that lump on back to me. I'll fix him right up. No no I'm harm, no foul. Little soldier. Yeah. <laughs> now if if he gets beat up too bad, he won't be much help to you for like for a couple of days. But just all, all I'm saying is you don't have to worry too much about him taking too many hits. All right. All right. It's it's not gonna do any permanent harm. That's great to know. We got a crew, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a crew. Uh, so it is It is getting on towards evening. Fine, throw me out. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Don, the Don wishes you well. Uh, security, like, respectfully escorts you out, like, just to make sure that you don't have any problems. Good. With the, uh, and yeah, you've been tossed out at your, on your ear at this point. But uh, yeah, it is, it is now. Damn boozy. <laughs> Don't know what. <laughs> yep. It is now full nighttime. Uh, the Johnny Smiles is going to be showing up to take possession of the Punchy Face Dojo first thing in the morning. Uh, are there any other after getting back to the dojo with? Let me make sure I've been taking proper notes here. So you now have. You now have Cassius. Yeah, here we go. You've got Cassius. You've got uh, the Don's friend who has not introduced himself. Yeah, hasn't said a word, I've noticed. Hasn't said a word. He's, uh, but he's got himself, let me find my, but he's got himself a short sword and a long bow and just seems like a, like a really good all around skulky type. Uh, you've got Templeton. Uh, oh, he wants to join in on this too? Oh, he is all about fucking up Johnny Smiles. Yo. <laughs> yeah, he is He is way into it. Sounds good. Uh, are there any last-minute preparations you want to make before you uh, before you break for the night? Hmm. So, let's see. Hmm. Nothing for me, as far as I can tell. I don't think so. Okay. Well, in that case, I suggest we take one more short nature break because I gotta go. <laughs> okay. And then and we will the pick up confrontation. tomorrow morning with the final confrontation against Johnny Smiles et al. <laughs> Let's go. All right. All right. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. And we're back. Guys, are you ready to punch some faces? I was Let's born for it. Flip and go. All right. So it is the morning. Johnny Smiles has shown up. He is outside on the street. Uh, he has brought with him uh, two gobos, two goblins as additional muscle. Uh, he's got uh, Lee, the surviving non-fled <gasps> Noel. And he's got the shortest ogre you have ever seen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Backing him up. How odd. He's he's knocking on the door. <laughs> hey, right. did you did you clear out like we agreed? Cause I didn't see no barrel. I want to. Ooh, guys, guys, hold on. I want to put. I want to cast 
Oh wait, no, I can't do that. I was about to say I want to cast Armor of Agathis onto the door. So when he knocks on it, <laughs> when he knocks on it, it ta he takes five points of like ice damage, and I get the health back. <laughs> Armor of Agathis, unfortunately, self only. Yeah, that's what I was saying. that sucks. Oh well. Okay. Uh, so he's knocking on the door. Yep. Yep. Come on in. The door's open. Okay, he, uh, so this, as a converted warehouse, it's like a large shutter door. Mm -hmm. He just lifts it on up, finding that it is, in fact, unlocked. It just rolls right up, and he's, he's coming up with his crew. All right. You're here, Smiles. Didn't expect you to show up, actually. I'm kind of surprised. I told you as I was going to show up. If you didn't pay me back or bring me the barrel, you didn't bring no barrel. So here I am. I'm surprised you're here. Showing your face. I mean, did you get my barrel? Because I'll turn around if you got that barrel. <laughs> no, no, I don't. But um, I've got, uh, I have these two fists here for you inside this ring. If you want to settle this right now with me, I don't have a barrel, but I've got something a bit better. Why don't you test your honor? You think you can beat me of the punchy face dojo? I'm just a little rat. Can you beat me in my own dojo? And we'll let it be yours with no fuss. Well, well, see, here's the thing, uh, funny thing, how that works. It's already mine, because I got the deed, legally. I own it. You're trespassing. Please leave. <laughs> okay, well, I think we had a bit of a misunderstanding here. Uh, this is my family dojo. This is where my pappy taught, and this is where I'm going to teach. Tell him a, a little bit about the person we also spoke to. I'm not about it. Build to it. We're building to okay, it. okay. And we uh, we I don't know if you know this, but um, you're your boss, right? Uh, Mr. T. Gray. You're familiar with him, yeah? Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, he's daughter just got married. Yeah, I know. I, I was really happy for it. Good, good wedding, right? It was a lovely wedding. You were there, right? <laughs> <laughs> we spoke with the Don, and we've come to the agreement that we're going to settle this here and now. And if you don't want to fight with me, we can have it lawfully done your way. We can have it done fun <laughs> my way, or very, very unpleasant with his uh, plan C here, and I don't think you want to deal with that. We've got some uh, others that might not take too kind of that. Oh, he's, he's looking around. Oh, 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 that's fucking adorable. You got some little rat friends. No, nah, that's great. No! No, we're going to do this the unpleasant way that winds up with you real bloody in the street homeless. Okay, well, there roll we go. Initiative. <laughs> roll initiative. Roll initiative. Roll the... Oh, wait, I'm going to roll in here. I'm an asshole. Uh, that's a 13, 14, 15 on me. 16 for me. Uh, 19. Uh, 16 and... 19. And Kieran? Yes. I'm... I'm going to assume that you got your punching gloves on. I do. Roll again for initiative. Absolutely. Came ready to fight. Hey, same roll. 19 twice. 19 twice. Okay. Let me roll for all these boys. How big would you say? Well, actually, it's five feet per square. Is that? Yes, five feet per square. Okay. Just do some quick middle math. Thanks. So I just wanted to get some use out of that. It's just like, I love this thing. Yeah, it's so cool. Much. I, I wish I could reach over there. I'd use it. I can't read it, though. Too bad I can't fucking just <laughs> pop this one in there. So a 55 hey. by 45 room. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, it's my, it's my father. <laughs> Happy's looking down on you, son. He is. He's, he's looking from on high. Right. Fuck him up! <laughs> <laughs> Right. I was looking out for me. God, this is an elaborate fight scene. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I know you have a lot of people. You're good. And there's Don't a lot of out. people on our end, too. We we'll don't have to do three rolls. Oh, damn it, I misread that. I was so excited because I saw Entangle and 90 feet. I was like, anything within 90 feet? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 90 feet range. range. Yeah. Yeah. Does that uh, say catnip? Can you summon catnip? It's cat trip. Can trip. Can trip. <laughs> Can trip? That's a lot less fun. Cantrips are your at-will spells. Oh, okay. All right. 
Um, like, oh man, if I can entangle everyone in a 90 foot radius, guys, we've got this in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> we've at least got a free turn on all of them. Okay, let me just make sure I've got this all in order. Goes. Billy, Billy. Uh, you are my least favorite kid. Ever since that damn kangaroo bit me, you never loved me anymore, Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> said my blood was tainted, so it said it was a dirty... At least, you know what? You didn't have a choice. He gave it up willfully. Said it was a dirty roo blood. There's but one true heir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm fighting for your honor. I guess I just really You're like... not doing shit for me. Do it for you. I like Billy. He's the one. He's the one. Everyone I'm loves him. They're going to write books about him. <laughs> Yeah, why? That's a good question. While we're sitting here, like while we're waiting for initiative to go, why do we give a shit about Billy? I know. Why do you? You're old friends from the old neighborhood. Yeah, we grew up together, and we just feel a sense of duty to protect him and his family, even though they've rejected us, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Although you know. What? Oh no, no, no! Wait, no, it's fine. He, we were in the will. We were left yeah, things. So yeah, he clearly that's at fair. least loved us a little. Okay. I loved you a little. Yep. Enough I loved you as much to give you a whiskey so you could drink all your troubles away. That's okay. True. All right, I think I, I think I got it all set now. Uh, so, so the Don's friend, uh, who you've got, I see uh, up in the corner there. Uh, oh, you want me to move? Please, let's see. I'll move him. I'll move. Uh, actually, he's just no. He's gonna he's gonna hang tight. He's gonna ready his action. He's uh, drawing his longbow, mm -hmm. and he's just gonna hit the first thing that comes through that door. Okay. Uh, Templeton goes next. Templeton. Uh, is going to cast, uh, and he is... Templeton's the, the gr wizard dude up front. Yeah. yeah, oh, in case you didn't yeah. know, this is... Yeah. Me. He, yeah. Templeton, you play... Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Templeton goes ahead and he casts Bless. Uh, so the three of you, uh, as long as you remain within 30 feet of Templeton, uh, you get to add 1d4 to attack rolls and saving throws. Just, just constantly? Yep. Oh, sick. Yeah, it's a concentration spell, so it could get disrupted, but at least for right now, yeah, you get that. That's real good. Uh, let's see. Billy, you're up. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I rage. All right. And I run in. All right. <laughs> Who are you going for? Uh, I'm going right. I'm rolling right for Joey, Mr. Smiles. Yep. That him? Yes. Yeah, that's him. I'm running straight for him. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll to attack. All right. That's a 19. All right. That hits. Go ahead and roll uh, damage. Two plus seven, nine. Nine. Whack. Run right up and take deck out, him in his take dumb Take out the jaw. leader and the snake dies. That's the saying. The problem is he <laughs> has too many teeth. I can't punch them all out. <laughs> all right. And now, thanks to the power of your mighty boxing gloves, you get another go. <laughs> With my father's might. <laughs> Once more. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> 11. 11. Yeah, that, that second one, you got him. You clocked him a good one on the jaw. Yeah. And then you take another one and you whiff. Oh, okay. Wow. You whiff it. He, after taking that first one, There's he so, leans so, back mm. and it whistles, whistles okay. in the air in front of him. There's much more you need to learn, son. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. All right. Uh, next up is Cassius. Uh, go ahead and move Cassius. Uh, wow. He gets... His. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, five squares closer to Billy. Right here? Yeah, if that's as far. Yep, he's just, he's moving in, but you're a little too far ahead. That's all he can do for right now. We got... Yeah, uh, all right. Next, the... Uh, the goblins. That's... Yeah, I'll, I'll move them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those those two guys go ahead and move them to either side of Billy. 
goblins are flanking Billy while he is he's now surrounded outside the entrance. Well, they're going to move to him, and then they're going to start attacking. I'm getting ganged up on. You, you are, in fact. Uh, out in the street. What's your uh, What's your AC? Uh, 19. Jesus 19. Christ, you have 19 AC? I assume <laughs> that it means armor class. Ar- right, 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 yep. right, monk, monk, monk. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Billy is OP. <laughs> <laughs> He's very tanky. Uh, let's see here. Okay. It. All right. Uh, one of them takes a swing with his scimitar at you. He is going to... He connects... Oh, no. Okay. And he, he just clips your ear for four damage. All right. There's your battle scar. Yep. The other one's taking a swing. But he whiffs it. Okay. All right. And then the knoll, which is the boy in the back there. Uh, let's see. He's going to go ahead. He's got a spear which has uh, which has reach. So he's going to move up behind his boss there and jab from behind. Oh, uh, okay. Pull from behind? Yeah, he's going to he's going to like Stand try and between the legs. try and get you while hiding behind the tank there. Okay. Let's see what he's able to do Bring here. Bring it. I fear it not. And he gets you right in the chest. <laughs> Let's <laughs> can't wait for it's like, our it's like that broken friend <laughs> for fall. yeah but he yeah just just get you right in the chest for three damage you do have a lot of health though so i do yeah all right grant you're up all right um which one which figure am i the one on the left you, yeah you're the one, one you're the one on the to, left to clay's left yeah the one that's yep. closest to you all right um and I have a range of 90 feet, so that should be plenty of space. I entangle the whole gang in there. Or can I only do one target? Uh, so what does is, what is it say under entangle there? Uh, sprout weeds and vines in, 20 foot, uh, in, in a 20-foot square. Creatures yeah, right. in the area must make a strength saving throw or be restrained. So okay. does that also mean Billy? It does. You cannot hit the goblins that are flanking him without do also hitting, hitting Billy. Okay. Well, do it. Well, you can... Okay, never mind. Actually, I'm not going to say anything. It's meta. Because, yeah, restrained creatures can spend an action to make another saving throw. All right. So so they get a saving throw. What's, yes. What is the throw? Uh, I should say under the uh, spell description there. Is it like a dex saving throw? A Strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Okay. So... Two and uh, it should say your spell DC at the top of that second sheet there. I think the middle sheet. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. All right. That knoll is tangled up in vines. You also need to roll a saving throw, right? Yeah. Uh, the goblin closest to you is tangled up. The other one manages to like wriggle out of the way. What do I have to roll for that? Uh, strength. strength. Okay, that's uh, nine plus five, uh, 14. You okay. make it, because yep, it's 13. You do. Uh, let's see. Or, yeah, that, the ogre just laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Damn it. And see how. Laugh, laugh it up, big boy. I got plans for you. Yeah. So, so yeah, you got the uh, you got the knoll, and one of the goblins are tangled up, but uh, everybody else seems fine. Okay. All right. Um, can I move after doing that? Yes, you can. I, I move back. I'll All right. And while he's moving his figure, Zito, uh, you're up. <laughs> All right. Hex is a bonus action. So, what I plan to do first is Eldritch Blast on Mr. Smiles. All right. <laughs> That's uh, plus six. On a charisma. No, no, just to hit him. So that's a plus six. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Uh, yep, that'll hit. 
All right, so let me roll my damage. So that's 1d4. Well, 1d10 plus 4. And then I'm going to add the bless on that. Uh, so bless, you can add to, to hit and to saving throws, but, oh, to not, hit and, oh, hit but saving not to damage. Okay, okay, then I have an idea. Don't worry, that's fine. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Roll a 10, plus 4. Ah, five. That was a 5, sorry. Yeah, that was a 5. Uh, so 5, that was uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 points of damage to him. And now, I'm going to use a bonus action to hex the big guy. And I'm gonna add the bonus onto that, and I'm gonna hex him. If it if he doesn't make the hex, I'm gonna nerf his strength with disadvantage rolls. All right, so let's see. He gets. I like um, it. So you deal one d six necrotic damage. Yep. And then choose an ability that the creature has disadvantage saving throws on. Okay. All right, so go ahead and roll your necrotic damage. All right. That's two, and I add hex onto his strength. Hexing his strength. Okay. So now he has to take disadvantage rolls when he makes strength checks. Gotcha. And let's... You did that to the ogre? Yep. Yeah. All right. Good. He seems like the biggest d heavy damage dealing character here. So I'm just like, yeah, let's let's nerf that a little bit. <laughs> take okay. him down a peg. So it's uh, it's on Johnny Smiles right now, and he's he's been taking the brunt of the damage here. Yep. So he he's gonna look at you, Billy, and say, "Billy, what the hell was that?" <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Brody. All right, all right, kid. You proved your point. You're real strong. You're real good at punching. You still you you still think you can win a one-on-one -on -one, a boxing match? You want to do that? You want to go? I send all these goons away. You send all your goons away. Just, just one on one, mano y mano. Billy, Billy, how are you gonna punch that ogre if he sends him away? One on one boxing match. <laughs> your strongest guy. Oh. I mean, that's you, right? You're the strongest. You're the strongest punching rat ever, right? You can take me, right? You can. You can do it. You can do it, Billy. Oh, Billy. Is this our Hulk smash moment? <laughs> <laughs> can I punch him? <laughs> <laughs> Not until your turn. Okay. He, you, you can only free action, so you can choose you can to answer accept. Him. Yeah, you can, you can answer, you can accept okay. or decline. Gotcha. I decline. Oh! <laughs> you came in to my dojo, and my dojo isn't just me. It is also my friends. It's my family. That's it's us, Billy. It's the children. It's the, even the Don is here helping this dojo. It's about the community, and everyone wants you gone. This is anime now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he just laughs. <laughs> All right, kid. Your funeral. And he turns around and books it. <laughs> yeah. Get him, big guy! <laughs> yells at the ogre as he Wait, runs away. He gets, a, he gets a combat event, uh, uh, attack of opportunity because he's running away from him. Yep, take uh, roll your attack of opportunity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets punched in the back of the head. Tell me where he's running. Oh, man. Okay, I got uh, 18 plus uh, 25. 25? Okay, roll for damage. Good. All right. This is 11. 11? Okay. Yeah. You clock him out cold as he turns around. Yeah. <laughs> He's out. The ogre next to him. It is now his turn. He laughs and says, oh, oh, thank you, Billy Punchy Face. That was very good. I don't know if you know this. Johnny smiles. He has no family here. He's a merman. He's from far away. You know what that make me, Billy Punchy Face? That make me the new boss here. <laughs> Billy Punchy Face, I want to let you know how serious I am about this, okay? He lifts up his trouser legs. No! <laughs> like the, the cuffs of his trousers, he rolls them up. He's got two stumps. This is why I am so short, Billy Punchy Face. 
I wanted to be the biggest man here. But if I was that big, I hit my head on door frames all the time. This, this is a place for little rap mans. I cut off my own legs from the shins down so I could come down here and be big man. I challenge you, Billy Punchy Face. I see what a strong punchy man you are. Can we settle this like men? Let's do it. <laughs> Boxing match. Let's one on one. It. One on you one. You versus me, Billy Punchy Face. <laughs> okay. We can only do this in the place built for it, the dojo. The, uh, you are a man of honor, Billy Punchy Face. And if you defeat me, I give you my word of honor. I leave in peace. Or if you punch me too hard, I, maybe I leave in pieces. <laughs> But maybe you live in live in pieces. That's why punching's so fun. I love it. Like, you don't know what get, will happen. We're gonna be best friends. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, we now have a one-on-one -on -one boxing match between the two of you. Okay. Uh, old school rules. Is that okay? Old school rules. Old school. I'm down. Okay. So, I have nothing on. All right. So no uh, no kicking, no hitting below the belt. All the triangle. You Got yep. it. Ding, ding. You each get. You each get three timeouts. Okay. That you can use. All right. That will count as a short rest for each of you. All right. All right. Roll for initiative in this boxing match. Do you do you want to use this? Yes, I do. Yeah. Hold on. Let's let's just move this over here. Fuck it. Sure. Thank you. Well, I got it. I want to get that uh, D20 out of there. There you there go. go. That just confused things. <laughs> Initiative is 21. 21? All right. Here you go, son. I give you this in good health. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Father. The, the blessed die. I bequeath the... The I blessed bequeath. die of Deimos. I give you the D&D &D die. I give you the, D, <laughs> the DM's die. <laughs> okay. All right. It's your go first. Okay. I'm going straight for his face. All right. Go for it. Roll the hit. Okay, that is 24. 24. That's Hot damn. All right, roll for damage. <laughs> that is 10. Oh, he's out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was a baby oak. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out they called him Glass Jaw for a reason. <laughs> goo goo gag. Oh, uh. no. All right. You've got your, your fists of punching, so roll again. <laughs> you got another attack. All right, this one I'm going for the gut. All right. Fucking hell. Body blow. Oh, no, not as good. That's a 10. A 10? Yeah, I mean, you hit his gut, but it does not do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, you watch the entire body undulate. <laughs> yeah. He's... Ripples go through, but they stop before they reach anything important. <laughs> now, you're still uh, you're still raged, yes? Yes. Okay. I think you... so, unless, I'm, unless more than a minute has passed. Yeah, no, you're... Um... We set this boxing match up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deal. Come in. Let's go. Yeah. No, you, he's got rage for like two more times, so it's fine. Yeah, I still, I still have plenty of it. I can use it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll count that as, as a use of rage, and then, sure. then, okay. So you do get, uh, as part of your rage, you get a second attack, bonus attack. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> Fucking sure. A. You, <laughs> you haven't been using it, but. <laughs> oh well, there we go. Uh, that's on nine, seven, sixteen. 16, okay. Uh, roll for damage. That's eight. Eight, okay. <laughs> roll a one on your D6. Eight. <laughs> Jesus, that's so much <laughs> added to this. All right. He's gonna, he's gonna take a swing at you. Thanks. You duck. You're, <laughs> even compared to him, you're real small. It whizzes above your head. Yeah! <laughs> You've got to... It's your turn again. I shout words of encouragement to Billy. You can do it! I believe in you! <sighs> There's Damo, she's eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> does my, does no, no, my boxing... No, no, not even through his mask. It's... <laughs> <laughs> just falls off. <laughs> I'm going for it again. All right. Oh, uh -oh. cool. That was, that was a nat one. Oh, oh no! <laughs> you, uh, you slip and fall. You're now prone. Okay. <laughs> Oh, geez. Oh, no. And he's going to go ahead. He just reaches out. So old school rules uh, mm -hmm. means you cannot use both hands to grapple, but he is large enough 
Yeah. That he is able to just with one hand grab your head. He holds you up. Palms you like a basketball. Yep. He's he's got your head in his hand. He holds you up, and with his other hand, boom. Oh god. Right in your gut. Oh shit. Okay, how much is that? Uh, I'm gonna roll for damage here, cause he's he's got you grappled. Yeah. Uh, that is twelve damage. Wow. Holy hell! All right, yeah. I'm. All right, now you are a weaker man. Might have died. Now he's holding you yeah, that's at definitely more than my health. <laughs> yeah, he is holding you at his arm's length, meaning that you cannot reach yeah, him. Yeah, I can't reach him. Uh, what you can do is a strength check to try to evade his grapple. Sure, I like that. Let's see if I can do it. That's a thirteen. You, as as much as you might struggle, you're you're not making it. But you're the spirit of Pappy Punchy Face I, yeah, is still in you. I was you. about to pray to my my father. Yep. So, so yeah, you're gonna. Yes. I don't think that's. I, I'm pretty sure since we decided this was one on one that any. But it's it's still affects. I, I, I would imagine it, it is it is still in effect, but it only affects attack rolls and saving throws. This is a contested strength check. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So. I figured it would be a strength saving throw. That's yeah. why I was like, "Wait a minute!" Uh, but you do, you do get another uh, another chance at him. Let's see before he can make another action. Oh, jeez, that's a ten. Yep, nothing doing. Oh God, he's he's gonna rear back. Ah, uh. he's gonna punch you again, again in the gut. Thirteen more damage. Oh my shit! Shit! How are you still alive? I'm still alive. <laughs> he started with 41 health. He's <laughs> he's really tanky. Shifty eyes. Okay. All right. I have Ten health left. You Man, can. If I knew you had that much HP, I wouldn't have like thrown <laughs> consequence out so many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's it's. We can own this town. <laughs> it's your turn. You can try and try and get out of it again. Or, or if you can, die. or if you can think of anything else to do, if you okay. can make an argument, <laughs> <laughs> talk my way out of it. No, I do the thing I know best. Use, use the fists in your heart. I know. Am I? Can I? Am I? Can I use my offhand? Can I punch his hand? <laughs> I mean, they, uh, I mean, that would be the strength check to try oh, to get okay, out. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I'm doing that again. Okay, that's a twenty-one. All right, that. Actually, no. <laughs> oh <laughs> really? Are you fucking You're kidding still... me? Oh god! He's he's real strong. Oh god! I can't I'm gonna this match to end with me going. Don't worry, Billy. I'll tell everyone you knocked them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute. Wait a wait. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna be that asshole again. Mm -hmm. I never took hex off him. Ah. Uh... That's that is again. That's again saving throws. But he's not saving. He's it. he's I'm grappling. Trying, Billy. I'm yeah. trying. I'm sorry. It's okay. I hey. I'll be fine. I know I'll be fine. It's just the first round, Billy. <laughs> All, right. All right. At this point, he's going to, because it is, you are right. It is just the first round. He opens his hand. He drops you to the ground. <laughs> this is not even fun for me, Billy. Oh, my God. I will use a timeout. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he wants a sporting match. He backs off into his his corner of the, the ring. Uh... He's got one of the goblins like squirting water into him. Squirt water into my mouth. Yep. All right. So you can go ahead and uh, what's your hit dice there? One d twelve. Got some on me. <laughs> it's you <water>. can. <laughs> yes, it's a d twelve. Yep. You can roll a d twelve and recover that many hit points. Okay. What do I get? Six. Six <laughs> HP. All right. And if there, are, if there is anything else, any prayers to Deimos you want to say, any <laughs> marshmallows that you want to do, just anything you can Point think of to, say, to help uh, your chances, now's the time. How does this work as far as Goodberry? <laughs> 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 well, you're saying you okay? I heard you. I heard you murmur buff spells. I don't see one that I have that isn't rage, unless I can rustic hospitality the shit out of him <laughs> or out of me. I don't know. Anybody got anything? Here you go, berries. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a goblin giving him some water. Do I get something? Yeah, you can have berries. Yeah. Bury me up. Here's ten berries. Does he, did he count ten berries? Yep, you can okay. you can shout down on ten berries. All right, I'm hey, shouting down on ten berries. Here's, here's some words of wisdom. 
I'm with you, Hellish Rebuke. <laughs> oh, I can't do that? Uh, let me see here. Cast me... as a reaction to take damage from a target within 60 feet. Oh, yeah, that only works uh, uh, on if... self. It didn't say self, so that's why I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a reaction to you taking damage specifically. Okay. And I got, let's see, Silent Image, Mage Hand, Eldritch Blast, Armor. Yeah, I, all the shit I have is just on me, self. so I got nothing. You hear the spirit of your father speaking to you for the through the gloves. <laughs> I give you boys. I give you boys gifts <laughs> to help you along your way. Use your gifts, Billy. Use the gifts that your father gave you. The the gifts that your father gave to you all. Some Wait, whiskey? Where's the whiskey? Here you go. <laughs> give me the whiskey. I hand him my magic whiskey flask. Okay. Uh, you so you uh <laughs> you've still got the boxing gloves on, so you can pour some whiskey down his throat. Yeah, you gotta give me some whiskey. Here, perhaps. Yeah, you get some whiskey, and then also, what if I gave him the black orb as use of just, like, just like what if he just, like, hold it in his hand? <laughs> just wield this orb. Well, it does, like, it does show him the way. That All was right. the descriptor we got. You, so. get, uh, you get eight temporary hit points. Okay. So any further damage that you take comes off of that first. Okay. Cool. Uh, but roll a constitution save. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Roll to see if I'm getting drunk. Are there any uh, girls dude, there? You have any drunken punching? Uh, that's 14. 14. <laughs> this whiskey is making you feel a little tipsy. <laughs> you're you're yeah. kind of... This is really good whiskey. It's great. I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah, so you, you, you still get those temporary hit points... But you're not, you're feeling a little dizzy. I wouldn't try too much more of that until you're able to shake off this drunkenness. Sounds good. When am I going to be able to try that again? After like the next round? Uh, that roll. might be too early. Probably have to roll con again for that. Okay. Yeah, so you'll, any point, like, so I'll, I'll let you know, you uh, you will get a con save every round to try to shake off this drunkenness. Sure. You're going to have trouble punching until you do. Okay. Because <laughs> no. yeah, this, this whiskey is basically free healing anytime anybody yeah. Throws it down your throat, but at a risk of drunkenness. <laughs> okay, you're back in the ring. All right. Roll initiative again. Let's go. <laughs> you're feeling good now. My initiative is 19. Okay, you're you're going to get to go first. Punch this boy. With the hand of mine. It's burning red. Uh, plus seven. So whatever 17 plus seven is. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. Roll for damage. <laughs> Eight. Eight. All right. The least damage you can do. <laughs> clock him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You clock him. Do you do something else that you haven't been doing and punch him with your offhand? Yes. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do I like, is that just a separate? That's roll? just another attack roll. Sure. Okay. And that is a small number, I think. Oh, no, that's a nat 20, bitch. Oh, oh right. that's I thought that was a two. That is a two zero. Okay, I'm going to let you uh, since yeah, since this is a critical hit as part of our special boxing rules. I want you to describe <laughs> to me how oh, you, how yeah, what you do with this powerful punch. If you're going to try and like hit him in the eye, hit him in in the gut and double him over. What are you trying to accomplish with this extra powerful punch? My goal with this one is to <laughs> my goal is to hit nothing him. Nothing below the belt. I know, I goals. know, nothing below the belt. Can't hit his peg leg. I'm going to try, I just want to hit him in the gut. I'm going to try and Whoa. wind him. Try and stagger him? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give him a con save against that. You're still, you're st actually roll damage because you're doing damage regardless. Oh my god, okay. he can box when he's drunk. Oh, oh wow. and max damage. Okay, uh, so your damage dice is doubled, so that's 12 plus your 7 19. would be 19. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> Billy's <laughs> really good at... He punches him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming that, like, they're here. Punches him so hard. Uh, yeah, people yeah I'm punching him so hard. <laughs> I, I can punch, punch him so hard we all fall back. <laughs> <laughs> this is shock the wave. Earth shakes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give him a con save to try to resist being winded. Um, go ahead and roll a strength check for me to see what he's rolling against. Sure. 
Another nat 20! Okay. 25! It is the fucking die! It is dice. the fucking die! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's doubled over, he's winded, he's breathing real hard. It's your turn again. <laughs> With the power of my father's glove, mm -hmm. I declare this dojo mine and mine alone for eons come! Please another nat 20. That was a two. <laughs> <laughs> There's the two we were looking for. I need an anime All right. yell. You, you whiff, but you've still got your offhand. That's right, I got my offhand. Give, give him the one, two. That's 11 or 17? 17. Okay, and that would be team. total uh, 17 plus 7. Okay, that'll, 24. that'll hit. Go ahead and roll damage. <gasps> uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> All right. All right, with the power of your father's glove, you feel it coursing through you. You get another turn. Go for yes! it. Yes! <laughs> what? My father's glove grants me strength! And it's, it's, a, it's a 11. 11. Yep, you you do connect, but uh -huh. it, it doesn't seem like you kind of like get him on the arm and he's not even feeling it. Okay. All right. He's So it's his turn. He, uh... What? Uh, he's able to... To like shake off the windedness, he stands up and roars. But as he's doing it, it's it's still taking him time to get up and shake it off. It's mm -hmm. your turn again. All right, wow. oh here God. it comes for round two. And that's sixteen plus seven, twenty-three. Twenty-three. That's gonna hit. Roll for damage. Whoop! -ah! Three. I think that's a six. Oh, it's a six. Six plus uh, thirteen. Thirteen. All right. All right, he is definitely from the power of all these blows. He's definitely feeling it, but he is he is up and moving again. He's going to take a swing at you. But once again, it whizzes right over your head. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yep, it's your turn again. I'm going to... I'm punching again. <laughs> 16... So, another 23. All right, that's going to hit. Roll for damage. Get out of here. Goblins are just like, he could have won if he wouldn't have dropped him in that first round. <laughs> Twelve. All right. Yeah, hubris, Bruno. Yeah, hubris. <laughs> <laughs> Speak not to me of hubris. Bruno punches with honor. Bruno punches at you with honor. This time, he's trying to correct for his mistake. He's been going over your head. He does it all the way down. Like, you can hear his fist, like, whizzing barely above the ground. Ooh, okay. At the last second, you jump <laughs> just enough that his fist passes under you harmlessly. It is your turn again. Am I in the air? You are in the air. Okay. I I don't know if I have any other, like, super bonus power, <laughs> but I'm invoking all of my anime bullshit. Haymaker, I'm from the air? Yeah, just fuck like yeah. Hammer Arr. fist. Blah. Yeah. <laughs> 15. 15, that's going to hit. Roll oh, for awesome. damage. Yes. He's a very big target. From above. 10. <laughs> All right, you clock him on your way down. Boom, on the head. He's it knocks him to the ground for a second. He's got one one fist against the ground. And he comes back up with an uppercut at you. Oh no! Oh no! But you are able to <laughs> to lean back. You can feel the air of it. It's your turn again. The punchiest of punchy faces. Uh oh. Fifteen. Oh, never mind. And as he comes up, as he comes up at you. You've leaned back. He's he's vulnerable. He put everything he had into this swing, but he missed. Just a straight boom right in his ogre face. He stumbles backward. Oh, wow. Didn't even need damage on that one. He is, yeah, your minimum damage would have done it. <laughs> yes! He is out on the mat. Oh! Yes! He is unconscious. You have won. <laughs> You have de defended the honor of the Punchy Face Dojo. Yes! And knocked out an ogre twice your size. Yes! Ah! <laughs> for my father's honor! For the Punchy Face! For Ricky! For Demos! For Cassius and that one guy up there! I'm so excited I turned part kangaroo because I'm 
<laughs> lost my ability to control my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's Deimos with a party hat. <laughs> so just uh, uh, denouement. Mm -hmm. A couple of hours later, Bruno the ogre comes <laughs> to. He sh he shakes it off. He like dusts himself off. All his all of his goons have left by this point. <laughs> he says, "Billy, oh, you defeated me fair and square. I would be honored if you would accept the deed to this dojo. I am a I am an ogre of my word. Thank you. It was an honor. A bull duel." <laughs> <laughs> I will, with great honor, take the deed. May we meet again in another life. <laughs> so, so I, I, you before, son of a bitch. Before we, before we close out, I just want Deimos to lean over to Ricky. You know, I'm kind of surprised he didn't say it wasn't ogre yet. <laughs> Billy was never the smartest guy. He's uh, he's not one for puns. It's not ogre till it's ogre, and I am always ogre. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for picking up the slack, Bruno. Thank you, Bruno. Oh, well, I had a blast. What I hope you guys did, tale. too. This was and great. the rat boys ran from Grandpa after he told his fantastic tale. Yep, spinning that, it and exaggerating it as they retold it to their friends. As he closes the book, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> <laughs> the rat children kind of looked to to each other and said, "Grandpa, now that story was bullshit, Grandpa. <laughs> that was oh, that, that was, was so nonsense. He was why way would, too strong? Two why, attacks? Why <laughs> would the ogre just let him go? He should have just punched him. One more punch would have done it. That was a stupid story, and you're a stupid grandpa. <laughs> the end. Grandpa, your storytelling skills. There's no motivation. Why do I? Why do I care? <laughs> Next time I GM grandpa. <laughs> Awful critical kid. <laughs> Look, you can't you can't please rat children. Yeah. Always find something to whine about. Yep. Where's the sun? Thanks for having me. It was an honor to fill the shoes of a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting times. Yep. Well, we will uh, read off a couple more bit drops. We got actually a couple of announcements before we do go. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh. So uh, tomorrow, uh, instead of the usual Wednesday hem thing. Uh, we're shorthanded this week. We're just going to be playing some Jackbox. Jackbox 4 is brand new. It's out. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, of course, more Zone of the Enders. Mm -hmm. Yep. Casual Friday, we're going to be playing some Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged. And also, those of you who are on a web browser, if you scroll down a little bit, we're, we got the subby dubs, we got the YouTube links, there's a brand new button there for our new Discord server. <gasps> That's <gasps> right! Discord.gg slash Team Four Star, capital T, capital F, capital S. Click the link, sign up, come chat with people. Uh, we've got our lovely Twitch mods have been putting this together for quite a long time. Excellent job. Thank They've you Thank you guys so much. So much love and appreciation to our mods. Thank you so much. Go there. Talk to cool people. Be I'll good be to there. each other. I'm, I'm, I'm always on there. Yeah, I'm yep. always on there, yeah, too. So. We're on there. I poke my head in every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much. Uh, anything else you guys want to plug while we're live? I don't think Nothing so. from me. All right. Cool. Thank you so much, you guys, and we will see you all next time. Billy Punchy Face punches the world. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs>